First match, here we go, it's gonna be Itzo versus Atemu, both individual from none other than Japan. So, uh, both players from Japan, Itzo, Kai player. Oh, actually, Itzo is rocking the chip right now. He used to be a former chip, uh, a former Kai player, so right now I am quite surprised that he decided to go for chip. That being said, chip is uh, stated as being one of the strongest characters currently in Japan, that is in the Japan region. People tend to agree that he's a very strong character, if not the strongest character in the current meta of the game. That being said, I can understand uh, when the when the West or other countries tend to say that it is not necessarily the case, but I am open for any type of argument regarding that particular uh, opinion. That being said, first round already going to Atemu. Atemu, no stranger to chip at all. He is a very proficient uh, Nagori Yuki player. He's been playing him ever since uh, the game came out, so extremely strong. Yopara Instoru, so this Yopara Instoru. Dikyo ganbarimasu. Oh, good. Seiken no Dikyo desu. And there you go with the wall break from Ateman already looking at that very strong life lead. Gets the kill with the command grab and already takes the first match. Extremely convincingly, first match goes to Atemu. Let's see how this pans out. Let me take a look at the bracket real quick just to see if nobody called me. I think nobody called me, so this is a perfect. I love it when nobody calls me. And that being said, here we go with the jump in from it. So finally getting a counter hit. It's gonna get the wall carry. The corner carry, my, my bad. Akaru-san, arigatou gozaimasu! Prime, eto, sub shite itadaki, arigatou gozaimasu, totemo ureshii desu. Kyo wa ganbatte kudasai. And here we go with Ito going for a fake uh, overhead and instead resorting to using the low and the DP right in the block string and he gets the freaking burst bait. Ito should be able to seal the deal with the overdrive. I know this overdrive doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it is enough to take uh, the first round of this second game. Ito not out of it yet. <laughs> and here we go with Ito going with the safe jump, going with the two lows, fails to get the juggle, but does get the 2D counter hit. Here we go with the corner pressure. Ito trying to keep the pressure on, goes for the overhead. Roman cancels and should get the wall break. Very nicely done. He's going to get the positive bonus. Doesn't have one bar tension, but should be there anytime soon. And here he goes. He's got the tension bar. Goes for the command grab. Should be able to roam and cancel out of it and get the kill. Yes, he does. And so just like this, just like this, ties it out. There is a one match piece. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Atemu can bring back the... Um, Bring back the momentum of this match. Goes for the DP, gets the entire, and forces Eto to pop the burst. Eto going very slow, doesn't want to overextend, especially with the very, very small amount of life that Chip does have. He takes damage for days. Eto with the jump in, gonna get a wall carry corner. Catches out to me, pressing button on the wake up, forces him to pop the burst, gets the 4S counter hit, goes for the overhead. Tries to invite Atemu to pop, to press a button. Atemu going with the low 2k to try to check attempts, uh, to try to check Edo's advancement. But unfortunately for him, Eto finds the opening into the overdrive for the kill. Second, first round of the third match goes to Eto. Smoy, my brother from another mother. The raid from Smoy, much appreciated, man. How are you doing, man? Always a pleasure to have you here over here Smoy. but i hope you had a wonderful streaming session and as always welcome to you and welcome to your wonderful community to the brojo cup number 81 by the way the brothers here the brother from another mother and by the way thank you very much for the follow uh nautilus fossil much appreciated and just as i say this atemu puts one round on the board and we have a tie perfect tie by the way one match one round apiece what is Ito going to do? Gets hit by the forest counter hit. Very, very... Oh, unfortunate for him. Again with the forest. Atemu keeping the corner pressure. Goes for the front. Fukio into the grab. Into well break. Into you are dead. D-E-D -E dead. Very nicely done by Atemu. Takes the lead 2-1. to one. What is Ito going to do? We shall see on the sweet sound of Sakura's BGM from Street Fighter V. We shall see how this pans out. A very, very... A uh, nice match so far. This is the first match, by the way, of today. And a big Beyblade counter hit for Atemu, unfortunately. Forced Eto to pop the burst and keep that corner positioning, but it's still okay. We are back in neutral. At Eto finds the jump in. Ah, uh, gets the corner pressure. Catches Atemu standing up right there. Gets the overdrive into the hard knockdown, into the positive bonus. 
Okay, they're going for the safe jump. Goes for the RC extension. Should be able to get the... Oh, yes! That corner combo, but not enough to kill because Nago Yuki has guts. Ah, Temu checking that advancement with the 2S. It gets it. Uses the RC2 uh, to get the extension. Oh, it's a witty YRC. Unfortunately, Atemu was already committed to a move and unfortunately, Ito got the momentum back. Was able to get out of the corner and get the kill. Very nicely done. Ito still has one more round if she wants to put one on the board. Very nice confirms from Atemu. Gonna get the juggle into the wall break and look at the damage. No RC, no nothing. Just plain old bread and butter for huge damage. And Atemu, unfortunately, corners himself. Atemu does have almost two bars to play with, so definitely has some leeway to try to get something going. And Ito with the whiff punish, unfortunately, didn't have any RC, any bars to try to get any extension. It's still Gao and Atemu, man, using RC and forces it to pop the burst. Ito with the hero burst, gonna get the knockdown and go straight for the overdrive. Very nicely done. And here we go. What is gonna be the mix? He goes for the cross up. Wait, oh, Ito goes for the cross up again and gonna get the kill with the RC extension. Goes for the overdrive instead, just to be sure. Very nicely done by Ito. Gonna get the kill. And we have two matches apiece. A perfect tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take this one? We shall see in a couple of minutes. And lots of people asking me to join their chats. Just one second, please. うん。あ、わかりました。えっと、了解です。うん。えっと、もし、えっと、配信。配信。試合が終わって、もし、待ってくださいね。はい。あ、でも、はい。配信。もし配信。試合が終わって、えっと、相手が、えっと、あ、オッケーオッケー。相手が、え、相手からの、相手からの、連絡がなければ、なければ、ピックアップします。了解です。もし、もし、Ziri, you have until the end of the two streamed matches to contact your opponent or you'll be this and again damn we have so many stuff going oh damn it no okay it's fine and one more where is it come on to the best thing yeah sorry guys okay yeah Okay, sorry for the wait. Uh, thank you very, mu very much for the follow, Will Hype, and welcome to the Brothers. Yeah, sorry guys, sometimes I need to uh, get uh, to keep an eye on the brackets right now. We have two participants who are not responding, so I need to, uh, well, to keep an eye on the bracket. And just like this, Atemu takes it a pretty freaking tight 3 to 2. The next battle is going to be none other than Iero Baksu, so also known as Laferak for those who watch Tatakai Tuesday, by the way. So very strong Naguri play Naguri player was able to take uh, uh, a couple actually of Tatakai Tuesday, notably against me. He eliminated me in finals. So yeah, extremely strong Naguri player against none other than Cal. So Cal also a participant of uh, the uh, Tatakai Tuesday. So both Nagori Yuki players, so let's see how this pans out. We shall see in a couple of seconds. That being said, I still need to check uh, to check the bracket real quick. Uh, very sorry uh, that I have to do so. So let's see. Okay, we're good. Okay, first match goes to Lafroyag, also known as Yellowback. So let's see how this pans out. How many Nago players? A lot today. <laughs> we do have a lot of uh, Nago players. 
So that being said, here we go with the far HS from Cloudy trying to keep Lafroy in the corner. Manages to do so, gets the shim. He goes for the 6 HS. Unfortunately, he gets the freaking blood rage. You hate to see it. And Lafroy definitely not gonna let this go unpunished. Wow, wake up freaking 2S from Karu. This man has some cojones. Unfortunately, gets hit by the Beyblade. Good stuff from Lafra. Actually, man. Oh, he actually lost the first round. My bad. And Kalu taking the lead right now. Lafra holding on to his uh, burst. Doesn't want to pop it. And here we go, the far HS from Karu. Oh, unfortunately, gets hit by the DP by Lafroyag. Lafra trying to. Oh, gets that far HS. Catches the back dash. And Cal just popping the overdrive in the block strings. Not afraid this man is. And here we go with the Wasude Yuki. Lafreyag taking a, a pretty nice selfie, but man, Lafreyag with the golden burst gets two bars of tension. Not afraid. Karu popping that yellow Roman cancel. Oh, Lafreyag not getting the conversion. Ghost for Oh, the Roman cancel. And not enough to kill. That was probably a uh, execution error. That being said, oh, now in the golden burst. Lafreyag being super patient, man. Not committing to anything and getting the kill just after that uh, Karu pop the golden burst. Very nicely done by Lafrax. Very nice patient from him also. So that being said, here we go with the second round. Let's see how this pans out. And immediate, man. Lafrax already popping the burst. Does not want to deal with any sort of... Wow, and the 6P. Very nicely done. Does the HS to catch the back dash from Karu as well. Here we go with Lafrax with the extension. Wants that burst, but Cal not giving it to him. And unfortunately for Cal, lost a ton of health because of it. Oh, that nice check from Cal with the... Oh, no, the two HS. He should be able to get the 6P. Oh, no. Oh, no. And the freak and clown for the kill. Lafroya takes a pretty nice lead. Not going to lie. One match, one round. And Cal getting that for S. Cal with the corner pressure. Cal oh, finds the opening with the close S. Oh, and gets the shimmy once more. This is the second time he catches Lafroy pressing buttons right there. And that being said, look at this. Boom, get out of here. Kalu taking a pretty nice lead. He does have the burst. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. And gets the opening with the clone into the killing combo. Into a perfect, by the way. That is quite the statement. Not going to lie. What is going to be the third round? And Lafroy Agman with the back. Fukio into the Beyblade. Oh, Kauru forcing Lafroyak to pop the burst. And Lafroyak hitting with the hit. 4 HS counter hit. Oh no, against the freak. No, not like this. Not like this. And Lafroyak with the front hook into the grab for the kill. Nicely done. Lafroyak taking quite the FT lead right now. 2 to nil. What is going to happen? We shall see. And here we go with the start of uh, the next round. Lafroyak. Popping the burst. And Kauru catching that back dash from the forest. No, not the burst. Not the burst. Not like this. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way, Quodas. And welcome to the Brodos. Kalu gonna get the Wasariki yet again. Always off on a strong start, but uh, for some reason, Lafroy just adapting mid-match and just getting both rounds back-to-back -back right after uh, losing the first one. So let's see if Kalu can, can break the curse. And here we go with Kalu going ham, hey, man. Going at oh lord in that bag that no and Lafroyang man getting not only the momentum back but also forcing Karu to pop the burst but Karu with the standing P for uh, the kill. Okay, Karu is still not out of this yet. Needs to be careful. Catches the bag dash with the clone. Gonna get the quarter positioning. Goes for the clone again. Ah, that being said, Karu man, oh man, finding the opening with the Beyblade. He's got the corner positioning. No punish on the golden pressure, you see it. Oh, and that clash on the 6P. And Lafroy not afraid to go with the command grab. Oh no, oh no, not like this. And this is going to be Wasude Yuki time. Lafroy taking this one pretty neatly. He's going to get the set of point. We are moving on to the set point. What is going to happen? We shall see. And on to the set point. Kaudu absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. And the uh, Fukio from both. But Kaudu a little bit quicker on this one, unfortunately. Lafroy using the... Oh, no! And reading the back dash and using the forest, man. Lafroy on point. Here we go. That forest this time around. Kaudu catching. Lafroy pressing buttons. He should be able to get... Oh, no! He's gonna get the command job! Is this gonna be enough? Not enough. Because... 
Because guts. Oh no! Oh, the clashing! Kaoru manages to take it, not down without a fight, two to one. Can Cal manage to make a comeback? We shall see. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the Shizuriyuki. Oh, Kaoru man! With the whip punish, man. Oh, waking up right now. You can see six HS. Uh, the OTG. He wants that burst so bad. It's gonna be a little bit far, so I don't know if he's gonna get the animation. He is, actually. They should be able to kill. Kalu looking pretty good, man. Bringing it back ever so slightly. Here we go with the perfect, by the way. That was a huge statement by Kalu saying, Nope, you're not gonna get this for free. Kalu with the Beyblade counter hit. Oh, got the clone, man. Catching the backdash. Kalu, man. Kalu feeling himself. Good lord. Oh, Lord. And here we go. Oh, Kado getting the whip punish. And this time around, catching the bag dash. He's going to get the wall break into Wasude Yuki. Good Lord. How are you doing, Shiro-san? Welcome back. Wasude Yuki did kaboom. Get out of here. Good stuff from Kado. Going to get the... Uh, the Yukizime. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Love for having to. Oh, and getting chipped. Getting hit by the 6 HS from Kado. Good stuff. Finally, man, Kado waking up and bringing it back two to two. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. It is not over till it's over. And the start of the round with the DP from Kado. Gonna get the corner positioning. Reading the Beyblade a little bit. Oh, but it's still okay. He whiffed the fully charged up, but it's still getting worked out in his favor. He's gonna... No! Oh, it's okay. It's gonna be enough. Kado! Kado! The reverse 3 0 man. Holy freaking lord. It's Kado gonna do it. And again with the DP. Reading left right like a book. Not going to re- Oh! Oh no! And the back dash. Very nicely done by Lefrag. This has been working out in his favor a lot. That being said, Kadu does have the golden burst. He has two bars to wait for to, to work with. No entire. And Lefrag finding the opening. Oh no, he's gonna corner his out. But it's still good. Oh no, and the, the freaking wasn't he can come. Boom! No! Too late! But it's still okay. Not over. Oh, very nice there to right there from Kadu. And Lafrag wants it. Oh no! That whip punish with his staying HS. That was sick. Good to HS. He's gonna get the. Oh! I hope you didn't commit to anything. And you did it! Oh no! Connor, man! Connor on the bridge! And Connor taking it with the reverse 3 0, man! A quick 3 freaking. Oh. Anyways, on to the next battle. It's going to be none other than. Just one second, please. Okay, we're good, we're good. Good to go. Gonna be none other than I'm Help versus Sutera. So I'm Help, extremely strong. Eno player versus Stella. I think this is their run back, maybe. I think they played uh, before. But anyways, we shall see. I'm Help made it to top eight last time. Still, unfortunately, wasn't able to do so. so. Let's see if he is able to make it to the top eight this time around. Stella definitely looking very strong. Off to a strong start. Unfortunately, a little bit too far to get the grab. Oh, Lord, and I'm Help popping that gold burst out of nowhere. That was unfortunate for him, but it still gets not over till it's over. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the HS a stroke. Oh! And still at catching that freaking catching his opponent with the two HS counter hit. You hate to see it. That being said, I'm help. Oh no! I'm help, man! Baiting that no! I'm help actually committed to something and unfortunately Stella was not ready for it. But still okay, he gets the jump and should be able to get the kill combo. Through it. Very nicely done by Stella. Definitely keeping a cool head right there. That was really, really sad. I really thought that I'm Help actually managed to bait that uh, overhead, that uh, that overdrive from Celestia. Unfortunately, unable to get the drill, but gets it right there with the cross up. Yozansen again with the cross up. Yozansen definitely doing a number on I'm Help right there. Goes for the grab. Nice take from I'm Help. And the double Yozansen. He tried to read the burst, but I'm Help with the delayed burst managed to uh, not get baited right there. Here we go with the 6 H. No, oh, the 6 P. And no wake up, Hiragi. Oh, and the Hiragi this time around got baited. Still, I man, unfortunate. But it's gonna be the mix. And the wake up of Barry by Stara. Tried to go for the Yozansen and unfortunately gets grabbed. And the freaking Roman cancel off the aerial grab for the kill by Am Help. A nice cool head as well, right here. Getting us on to the third match. And the uh, cross up Yozansen for the opening by Stella. Trying to push Am Help in the corner. Oh, God. And here we go with the clash from the chemical into the tatami. Guys, shit. Start with the. Oh, gets the opening with the two HS. Goes for the instant. Yozan sent that being said. I am helped with the nice read. Was able to block it in time. Gonna get uh, some corner pressure. Still with the corner pressure. Still against the two HS. And gonna get the kill. Good luck.
Good stuff from us. Still, I put a one on the board. It's still definitely, it can go either way, seriously. It can go either way, don't worry. I'm help is no slouch at all. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the air to air. Bye, still, I guess the juggle also. That was pretty nice, not gonna lie. And still with the corner pressure, tries to find the opening. Oh, find the opening with the Gabari. Too far to get any substantial conversion though. Delay burst on the 6 HS. Always nice to see indeed. Okay, I'm help finding the opening. A little bit too far to get that quick uh, dust in. Still out with the air to air. Gonna get the. Oh no! Drop the combo. Start trying to. Uh, go air to air. Gonna get. Oh, not hit by the. No, that was unfortunate for him. And here we go with the juggle by Stella goes for the cross of Yozansen. Here we go with the Kabari. And the instant Yozansen for the opening into the RC for the kill. Good stuff from Stella. What is I'm gonna do? I'm help with uh, the sultry performance. Oh lord! Here we go with the tatami guys. Good Kabari, gonna get the conversion. Here we go with the take pressure. And I'm help getting open. No, and the drop in, man, you hit to be kabarried. And still again with the opening, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Still with the tick pressure again, goes for the Yozansen and gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Still I puts another one on the board. I'm help is in dire straits right now, what is he gonna do? What are you gonna do? This is looking pretty bleak for our South Korean uh, Eno player. What is gonna happen? And here we go with Stella and the safe a jump. Goes for the mix and gets the burst. Oh no, this is damage time. This is death time actually. And Stella going for the overdrive. This is gonna kill. Perfect, man. Good. Boom, you know, get out. Get out of here. With the perfect. Stella not afraid. Stella seeing his way in the, in the winner's bracket. Doesn't want to go into losers. And I'm trying to get the juggle. Unfortunately, is not optimized, but it's still okay. Still get the corner positioning. He's gonna get the wall break. What is going to be the onslaught? Very nice air to air in favor of I'm help. Oh no, cross up right there. Tatami guys see. Okay, here we go. I'm help probably wanted to go for a quick uh quick Roman cancel, but it's still okay. He's gonna get the juggle thanks to YRC. I'm help not out of this yet. Still on set point though. If he loses this one, he loses it all. And I'm help, man. Going straight with the sultry performance. Not afraid, no entire. Oh, and now the Kabari. You hate to see it. Good lord. Here we go to Tatami Gaishi. Still going low. Trying to. Oh, no, the Hiragi. You hate to see it. And here we go with the corner positioning. I'm help. Trying to get out of the corner. Very nice entire. Goes for the note. And Mulan. What was that? Was that a confirm? That was sick one button confirm, man. Good stuff from still on the verge of taking it. What is the mix? And he goes for the low and just like this, Terra and I'm help. He accidentally meets something to deal with his family, so he missed this time. No problem. He wants it. It's okay. Don't worry, Yanyu. It's okay. I, it's really not a problem. It's always a pleasure to have Xiri in, uh, in the tournament anyways. But this time around, yeah, I had to disqualify him. But everything's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm not angry. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, everything's fine. Thank you very much for the, uh, the heads up, by the way. That being said, here we go on to the next battle. Polka versus Haru? Polka? Polka playing Faust? Are you serious? What the hell? This is something I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't ready for. Polka man with the Faust freaking. What what is going on? What is going on? That being said, here we go with the start of the round. I was not aware. I was not ready for Polka actually trying to pop that Faust, man. So that means we have three Faust today. It's gonna be none other than RF, Nage, and also Polka. But Probably that Polka has a, um, probably has a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, still his happy cows just in case, I suppose. But yeah, it's really fun to see him play Faust. Why? I wonder, like, is this, like, a character matchup type of thingy? But I would have thought that, like, happy cows versus Jacko is mainly in favor of happy cows, in, in my honest opinion. But then again, I'm not too proficient with this matchup, either one or the other, so. But that being said, here we go with the first round already going to Polka. Poka, 14-year-old prodigy, as I have said, he has made top 8 in none other than Evo Japan. And um, yeah, overall, very young player, 15 years old, extremely strong one at that. And he unfortunately lost this round with a perfect. 
Haruki definitely no slouch. Sometimes you get sick of playing a really good character and want to play a low tier. That that makes that makes sense. I can understand. I can understand. Just to know how the mortals feel. <laughs> yeah. That being said, he's doing pretty good. Not going to lie. But yeah, Haruki with the corner pressure. As you can see, finds the opening. Gonna get the juggle. Wants to keep Poka in the corner. Tries to go for the grab, but a little bit too early on it. He still has the corner positioning. Gets the juggle using the uh, using the uh, what's called the um, dominion. And very nice XP on the verge of killing it, but Polka actually saved by the hammer, man. Oh, and he gets the burst! Polka gets the burst, he's gonna get the wall. Uh, the, the wall. Oh no! Oh no! And the double oh no right there. Blue RC, but he drops it! He drops it and gets scooped by the by the by by the minion. No, that was so unfortunate from Polka. Is he still gonna stick with uh with his gun? Yes he is. Okay, Polka still. Hanging out with Faust, let's see how this pans out. First match, man, first match. We never know. We'll see how this pans out. And unfortunately for him, how do he find the opening? Poka holding on to his deer burst. And how do he finding the opening? Gonna get the wall break. What is going to be the die mix? Very nice 6H from how do he gets the entire air. Tries to go air to air, but unfortunately, Poka gets the burst. Okay, here we go. BRC battle right there. Poka with the entire gonna get the corner combo. Uh, wants to keep the corner positioning. Reason why he didn't break the, the wall there, in my uh, uh, honest opinion. That being said, Poka popping the burst and gets landed on end. Unfortunately for him, Haruki manages to seal it out. What is gonna happen? Poka still sticking to his guns. Seems to have a little bit of a problem right there. Gets good by the 6H. From Haruki, gonna get corner carried, and this is a bad time for you, Faust Chan. You have to hold it. Oh, and Polka, man, getting his way out of the corner, just dashing straight out and using extended K for it. Oh, here we go, the delayed mix, mix, mix. Polka should be able to keep the corner positioning and going straight for the wall break without using the overdrive this time around. Okay, quick uh, purple Roman cancel and the grab from Haruki. Haruki going for the side switch, the cross up, and Poga, no! Not like this! Uh, Haruki, not enough to kill, unfortunately for him. He does have the corner positioning and takes it with the quake. Thus, second match goes to Haruki as well. Oh, my bad. Goes to Haruki as well. What is Poga gonna do? Is Poga gonna switch to Happy Chaos? Yes, he is. It is Happy Chaos time, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, Polka doesn't want to go down without at least trying his hand with Happy Chaos, I suppose. Let's see, let's see. This is my final form, and yes, it's going to be a Happy Chaos coming straight up. The One of the best Happy Chaos players in Japan right now. One of the best Happy Chaos coming straight up. Right now, let's see if Haruki can withstand the pressure or if the fun stops here. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Haruki is no slouch, to be fair. So, oh, wait, uh, their name is inverted, by the way. Haruki is on the left. Let me uh, solve this uh, really quick. Yeah, this is uh, Poka. Poka is here. And it's actually this. Poka here and Haruki on the right. Haruki. Perfect. Very good. And yes, here we go. What is going to happen? And Poka, man, already a little bit down in life. He does have the burst, though, so it's still okay. Got the corner positioning. Gonna go for the recharge. He doesn't have any... Uh, any... What's it called? Oh no, and the bad lead time meteor right there from Haruki. Unfortunately, this is gone a spell. Uh, opening for Poka. Poka with the corner positioning, the wall splat. Oh, get Poka going low. Not enough to kill. One more opening should be enough. And he finds it and he gets it. Good stuff from Poka. Staying alive by the skin of his teeth, though. That was all due to a bad lead time meteor from Haruki, to be fair. That being said, here we go. And Poka already bringing in the heat. Got the corner positioning. Couldn't prevent Haruki from uh, getting out of the corner though. And Poka man with the freaking snipes right there. Okay, gets the opening going using his own clone. The scapegoat. And Poka, ooh, wants to get out of the corner. Gonna be able to do so. Oh, face the burst. Haruki, why, why, why did you burst there? That was a nice burst, Haruki. And oh, Poka should be able to get the wall splat. Not enough to kill though. Haruki's life ending by a thread and gets scooped by the 2S and just like this, Polka puts one on the board. The fun stops here, sir. It stops here. 
And here we go with Polka and the curse right off the start of the round. Tried to bait the burst, but Haruki... Oh, Lord! Haruki with the backdash actually manages to bait the burst... Oh, to force the burst upon uh, Polka. Polka with the opening. With the snipes and... Oh, tries to go for the quick dust. Oh, and Haruki gets opened up by the side switch. It's okay this time around. Haruki is in... Offense mode, he goes for the fake cross up! Not enough to kill though! What is gonna happen? Yeah, Haruki with the corner position, gone again! Oh, and he goes straight for the illusion drive and he should be able to kill, obviously. And Haruki on a match point, man! Set point, let's see how this pans out. Polka might have, should have chosen Happy Chaos, not going to lie. <laughs> okay, that being said, it's still not over till it's over. There is a possibility for Polka to make it back. But Haruki, man, Haruki no slouch, man. He's not your normal run-in-the-mill Jacko player. I can, I have first experience. But that being said, Polka does have the corner positioning, finds the opening. Gonna get the juggle and the wall break. Haruki still has his burst though, so it's still okay. Oh no, he got scared and gets mixed. Haruki holding on to his dear burst gets opened by closest counter hit. Okay, Polka staying alive. Let's see how this spins out. And poke out with the 6 H start of the round. Find the opening, gets hit by the uh, unfortunate uh, burst by Haruki. That being said, Haruki got the corner position. No, no. Too late! Oh, but it's still okay, he got the backdash. And that being said, Polka being very offensive. Very offensive, uh, happy chaos player. Tends to not really like zone you from uh, the other side of the screen. What? What was that? That was so sick! Man! Good stuff for Polka. Brings it back, man. Two matches apiece. Is Polka going to be able to get a reverse 3 0? We shall see. We will start of the round. Polka trying to get that curse. Gets the 6 HS, and that was an unfortunate burst from Haruki. That is a very looking very bleak for him, not going to lie. And Polka going for the quick dust for the opening. Here we go to Wall Splat and uh, fake a low right there from Polka. The delayed overhead goes for the low this time around. They should be able to kill. And he goes for oh lord and Polka man, Polka the disrespect. He could have killed so many times using the overdrive, but just wants to get the reset. Thank you very much for the uh, follow. Oh that guy, welcome to the bro Josh. And here we go with Polka and uh, the Sogeki, the sniping. Oh the sniping, happy girls coming back. He goes for the cross up, goes for the side switch again with the side switch. There's only so much you can block. But Haruki not out of this yet. Gets the juggle. No, he gets an unfortunate side switch that he didn't want. I'm sure. Again, Polka going, man, for the corner. Oh, Lord, the corner pressure. Shoot, indeed. And Polka, oh, in bright position. On set point. That being said, Haruki not out of this yet. Goes, no! Haruki, why? But it's still okay. Haruki gets the juggle. We are going on to the last round of the last match. Is Polka going to be able to take it? Or is uh, Haruki going? Oh, Lord, the devil. No, 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 entire, no. That being said, Polka in prime position right there. Gonna get the corner positioning. Polka with the corner pressure. Gets the opening with the quick dust. He's gonna get the wall break. Oh, okay. Wants to keep the corner positioning. So no wall break for you, sir. Go slow, low. Ball flat. Oh, no. And he got the first Polka with the reach. He's gonna take it with Air Six. <laughs> Good stuff from Polka. Takes it three to nail, man, with the reverse. International love, that's what I'm talking about. You see Polka play Faust Tiger? Yeah! Polka actually popped Faust the first two matches, man. And he was actually pretty good, not going to lie. But yeah, he went back to the uh, to the normal, to the to the basics, man. That being said, here we go with Hagiara. Rocking Jackal this time around, not resorting to using Axel. Which is understandable, I suppose. Yo, friend, how you doing, bro? Welcome! Anyways, here we go with the corner positioning. And Hagiara popping the buffs on the minion. Wants to keep that pressure going on. And Mugi has to eat it. Just eat it, bro. Just eat it. Just block. That's all you need to do. Oh, and Mugi reading that grab at him. But still, Hagiara keeping the corner positioning. Gonna get another buff, by the way. Oh, Lord. And Ha Mugi with the freaking FD instant block. Made it so that Hagiara was out of reach to continue his pressure. And Mugi gets the freaking burst, mate. Good lord! Good lord! Mugi gets it! 
Not let not go out of the menu exactly. Yo, Flam, you're eating an ice cream. That's good, man. You may oh, I actually have an ice cream in my uh in my freezer. I should eat it as well once the tournament is over. Or maybe you guys want to see me eat an ice cream. I don't know. But no, it's okay. I'll eat off offline off screen. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with Moogie, man. Gets opened up by Hagira. Gets grabbed. I get over the corner positioning. Probably tried to read a uh, a YRC here. Oh no! And the bag that from Moogie! Gets the side switch and should be able to seal the deal with uh, the Wasure Yuki. Is this going to kill? Yes, it is. This is death right here. Goodbye. Bye bye, sir. Good stuff from Moogie. Takes the first match uh, pretty convincingly, not going to lie. But still gets just the first round. It doesn't mean anything. Don't worry. Be happy. And here we go with uh, the second match. Is Moogie going to keep the momentum? It's certainly looking like it. Forcing Hagiara to pop the burst. Hagiara with the anti-air. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. The checks from Hagiara. Moogie not committing to any uh, offense. And thankfully, uh, thanks to that, he didn't get opened up. Again, Moogie reading the grabs. It's from Hagiara, man. Both players uh, do tend to play against each other very often. So they know they each other's tendencies. Hagiara with the 6P again. Trying to read uh, an attack from Moogie using the guard point, and Hagiara. Oh no, Hagiara not converting with the URC, with the, the Roman cancel, and gets scooped by the closest. You hate to see it. This is not something you want to do. But Hagiara reading the command grab attempt right there from Moogie is able to seal the deal. Nicely done by him. And on to the second round of this uh, second match. Hagiara with the lead, currently with the, the round only, not the match. Uh, forcing Moogie to pop the burst. Nice take pressure from Hagiara. Can extend the pressure. Driving Moogie ever so slightly in the corner. No, he gets the reset. Oh. Okay, Hagiara. Oh, with the guard point, man. That was sick. Good stuff from Hagiara. Gets the buff from the main and goes for the grab. Look at the damage. And Moogie with the blocks, man. With the instant dust. With the quick dust, man. Oh, and he gets the shimmy. And just like this, Hagiara puts one on the board. That shimmy was pretty nice. That shimmy was good. Not going to lie. Being chilling. Exactly. I should be chilling. I want to eat an ice cream so freaking bad. Now that you, now that you mentioned it. That being said, on to the next battle. Where is Darwin over there? Oh, Darino is okay. Up next. Good. Uh, up next after the next battle. Okay. That being said, we go with Moogie with the tick pressure. Get the closest counter. Uh, the closest entire. Just find the opening. Hagiara being a very very. Diligent, not overextending, and but getting caught once again with the close hit. They didn't get the juggle, and I think he's gonna get hit by the Wasu Yuki. Yes, he is. Hagiara tried to go for a grab, but Moogie with the wake up overdrive just shaking him, man. You are not safe. You are not safe, Hagiara. You need to respect my wake up options. And good lord, Moogie with the freaking Beyblade counter. Can get to a corner carry. Oh no, one on the freaking standing HS. That means uh, Hagiara trying to jump out of the corner. Again, man. Uh, having to sustain. Oh, Lord, and Hagiara with the golden burst. Unfortunately, gets a grab by Moogie. Moogie with the wall break. What is Hagiara gonna do? He does have some leeway to play right there. Two bars of tension. What the hell was that? Moogie with the golden burst out of nowhere. That was sick. You're not on this yet again with the front foot into the grab and just like this, man. Moogie taking a pretty hefty lead, not going to lie. 2-2-0. Two, two, what is Hagiara going to do? Is Hagiara going to uh, swap to Axel, maybe? No, he doesn't. Takes to his guns, as he should. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Is Moogie going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Moogie catching that backdash with the standing S. We go HS on a block, on block. And... Uh, Standing HS from Hagiara catches the backdash from Mugi this time around. Take pressure. I get up driving Mugi in the corner. Oh, and the two HS getting not only rid of one, but two minions and also hitting Hagiara on block, making it so that Hagiara is unable to go and uh, with punish it and uh, punish the recovery. Two to one. Two and one indeed. And Mugi with the forest. Oh, and the front hook this time around. Hagiara uh, catching it with the checks, the 2k. Oh, yeah, you can see with the delayed jump right there from Hagiara trying to bait a tech attempt from Mugi and takes it with the Illusion Driver. Hagiara not out of this yet. Hagiara did take one, I think. Yeah, he did. So you just need one more to put one on the board and have a perfect tie. Hagiara with the juggle. Oh, catches back. That's with the standing H. 
Unfortunately for him, gets scooped by the Beyblade counter hit. Moogie with the corner carry. And a good with the corner pressure. No Beyblade. Oh, Beyblade delayed Beyblade. Oh, and still catches Hagiara out of the air. This has been working so good in his favor, man. The standing, the closest. And here we go with the aerial grab from Hagiara. Nice reaction station. I think Hagiara blocked it. And he did. Hagiara, no, getting caught by, again, the closest, man. Very nice use of the guard point right there. I get it with the corner pressure. Here we go. Mugi has to hold it. I get out. Still not using the buffs. Ah, uh, tries to go. No! But it's still not over. Not over till it's over. Oh, and I get out reading the grab attempt. It's not going to be able to. Yeah, he's not going to be able to seal the right. No, he's not. I think he dropped it, though. Oh, load in the guard point. I get out with the clutch. The clutch is there. He should be able to get the. No! Yeah, but still can get the kill with the grab. Good stuff from Hagiara staying alive up until the absolute last sequence. Good stuff from Hagiara. Still alive. 2-2. Two to two. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Two matches apiece. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Very nice reaction grab right there from Hagiara. Catches the Fukio. Catches again the Fukio with the 2k this time around. And he goes low. Doesn't get the juggle, but it's still okay. It is Hagiara's turn. Oh, nice 6 speed. Mugi not committing to anything. Gets go by the minion again with the minion, man. No! Nice use of the forest by Mugi. Tried to bait probably a take attempt right there from Hagiara. So, okay, here we go. The front Fukio catches the aerial attempt from Hagiara using the DP. Oh, Lord. Mugi, man, so threatening. Gets the aerial grab. Gets the 6 HS. Oh, Lord, and again with the grab, man. If at first you don't succeed. <laughs> Finally, I got forcing Moogie to pop the burst. Oh, Lord, and air Moogie trying trying the tick from Dark Necroman and gets the kill with the 4K. You hate this move. Just like this Moogie on set point, what is going to happen is I got going to be able to put one on the board and make a comeback. Nice guard point. Moogie trying to get that. Minion throw with the 6P, unfortunately got right behind him. And Hagiara with the corner pressure. Now, unfortunately, uh, gets out range right there from Mugi using DFD. Oh, nice back there from Mugi, man. This man. This dude, the cojones on this dude. Trying to find the opening. Finds the opening with the back Fukio inviting Hagiara to uh, press a button to take. Not over till it's over. Why is he from Moogie gonna get the corner positioning? That being said, oh no, he finds the opening. Oh, this is bad. He goes for the command grab. Things are looking bleak. Things are looking super bleak. Not over. No. Okay, he gets the side sweat. Oh, nice guard point. That was death right there. And Moogie with the 6P, man. And gets the kill with the far HS. Good stuff from Moogie. Takes it 3 to 2. That Okie dokie, Brisbane. Cookie Nage versus Yoki. Let's see how this spins out. So Nage, no stranger to uh, Gold Lewis. The reason being uh, that he tends to play a lot versus Gobo, who rocks one of the best Gold Lewis in Japan currently. But Shoki, no slouch. Definitely knows a lot about the Faust matchup and also about how to use, uh, well, Gold Lewis adequately. So let's see how this pans out. So far, so good for Shoki. Gets the corner positioning. Boris does not get to pop the burst. Here we go. The mine is out. Nice block right there from Shoki. Trying to find his way. Oh, almost gets hit by the overhead. And he gets the hit with the behemoth. Goes for the behemoth pressure. And oh, Lord, Nagi reading the grab attempt right there. Nagi with the corner positioning. Oh, and the bar from Shoki with the 4S into kill. Into kill. Good uh, reactions right there from Shoki. Gets the first round. Let's see how this spins out. Nage trying to get the entire, but Shoki not committing to any aerial move. Goes for the overhead. Nice blocks. Just blocks, man. That's crazy. Good stuff from Shoki. Nage going for the cross up. Mix, mix, mix. Nice bar from Shoki. Cannot commit to any follow up because of the bomb on the screen. Does not want to get hit by it. Again with the bomb. A little bit too far to uh, throw it back to Nage, by the way. And Nage finding the opening. Gonna get the corner carry. Little Faust is out to play. And Nage with the corner positioning, gonna get the juggle using the hammer. Unfortunately, drops it. Still okay. Got the uh, guard break using his own head. And he gets the burst! 
And I get with the burst bait. Okay, one round a piece. Is Yuki gonna bring it back? Let's see. Very nice uh, jumping counter hit. Yuki with the blocks. Doesn't get hit by the spear. Tries to go for a behemoth. Is interrupted by the 4k. Here we go, the bar by Nagi gets hit though by the jumping DU8. Is it? And again with the hit. Look at the damage and Nagi's life hanging by a thread, man. What's gonna happen? Yuki does not want to take any. Oh, nice stop from Nagi jumping out of the corner. Little Faust is here to play. Oh, and unfortunately, with the Abari, Nagi gets hit and Shoki takes the first match. Good stuff from Shoki, definitely showing his prowess with Gold Lewis. Nagi obviously staying with his gun, sticking to his gun, which is none other than Faust. Here we go, the start of the round. I believe this is a uh, standing H, I think. I'm not quite tracking. That means that here we go with the juggle, not only on the banana, but using the cavalry as well. And Nage with the forest counter hit. Trying to go air to air, actually not committing into it. Shoki finding the uh the 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 the, the sweep. He's gonna get the knockdown. Shoki with the freaking corner positioning. Oh tries to go for a grab, but Nagi jumping out of pressure activates little Faust, gets hit by the far spear. And has to sustain all has has to uh, block all of these bombs. That being said, he's gonna oh! Saved by the cavalry, you hate to see it. And here we go with Yuki and the far behemoth. This time around, he's got the cavalry. Tries to go air to air. Nage getting out of pressure, man. Goes for the forest. This time around, he's got the cavalry. Ah, and Yuki going for the minigun. Tries to go for the jumping D. The D. Jumping D again. Nage out of range though. And gets good by the minigun. Good stuff by Shoki takes the lead, man. A pretty hefty one, by the way. One match, one round. If Shoki takes it, takes this round, it's going to be very, very hard for uh, Nage to make a uh, comeback. Not going to lie. But Nage, no stranger to uh, clutch situations. Goes for the jump. And the wig is on fire. We don't need no fire. Let the wig burn. And here we go with Nage again with the wig burn. Man, he's going to get the freaking, the, the freaking corner. Corner combo in the corner pressure as well. He goes for the mix, mix, mix. Quick Roman cancel into the low. Nage man with the corner pressure. This is so freaking. This is so freaking hard to to endure, man. I, I feel I feel Shuki. I feel his pain right now, man. The corner game of Nage is top notch, man. You are not getting out of here. Very nice stand. Uh, nice for K. Well, standing K by Nage. Interrupts whatever Shuki was going for. Probably a behemoth. Here we go with the corner, man. The corner pressure again. This is crazy. And Nage, man, going for the overhead immediately cancels into the Scarecrow in order to get access to the cavalry. And Shoki looking very, very, very confused right now. Doesn't really know what changed right there, but things are looking pretty bleak for him trying to get that jump in. And Nage going for the quick teleportation into the Scarecrow. Into uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, um, uh, I forgot the name. The, um, the command grab into Roman cancel into the kill. Good stuff by Nagi brings it back. What is Yuki gonna do? We shall see. You go to forest blocked. Nagi getting hit by Berserk uh, by Behemoth counter hit Berserk. Okay, Yuki trying to make his way. Not easy. Not going to lie. You go to forest spear again with the meteors. Nage with the caval cavalry is gonna get the corner pressure. Lil Faust is still here to play. No wig, unfortunately, for Nage. That being said, Shoki man trying to find the opening, but not easy. He gets the minigun. This is definitely good for him. Tries to go for 2k to the butt. Nage just content to just block. No entire and Nage getting the hell out of here using the mix mix mix. Nice jump in um, by Nage. Goes for the mix mix mix. Doesn't need to roam and cancel it since. Yuki blocked it in the air. Here we go with the Roman cancel this time around from Nage. You're gonna get the wig on. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Problem this time. They tried to get the wig so he could send his head and make a guard crush thanks to it. And Shoki finally getting back. So a little bit of momentum gets entire though by Nage. Oh, and here we go with the wait. The Faust is here to play. And Nage, man, again with the cavalry trying to bait that burst. Okay, one more chance for Kyoki. Nice block on the... Ah, You hate to see it. Ah, wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, Nage, man, with the side switch. Using the meteor to cross, man. That was dirty. That was dirty. Good stuff from Nage, man. Taking the lead. If he takes this one, he is going to take the actual lead. Here we go, Nage going in deep with the closest. Gets hit by the behemoth, though. Counter hit. Wake up a bar by Nage. Closest counter hit. And Shioki getting the mind to hit Nage. Gonna get the corner position and goes for the behemoth. Catches Nage trying to jump out of pressure. And the freaking overdrive. That was sick reaction overdrive by Shioki on reaction from the scarecrow by Nage. That was sick, man. And the 2k, the 2p for the kill. The 2p a bar for the kill by Shioki. Finally puts one on the board. Just needs one more if he wants to take the, the, advan the advantage. Nice jumping behemoth. Gonna get the hard knockdown in the corner positioning. Tries to get the behemoth. Nice air to air from Shioki. Gonna get... Oh, no, no, you're not jumping out of it. And Shioki with not only the corner positioning, but also the cavalry. Going straight into the overdrive. Gotta get the wall break. Nagi feeling the pain. You wanna have a taste of my coffin? Here we go, man. And no entire... And here we go, the 2P for the kill. Shioki taking the lead, man. Did a one. What is Nagi gonna do? What is Nagi gonna do? We shall see. Good lord. Is Yoki going to send Nagi in the losers? We shall see. And on to the uh, fourth match. Let's see if Nagi can bring some adjustment to his gameplay. Wow, that freaking overhead but he missed hit from so freaking far. Yoki with the hard knockdown again goes for the overhead. Nagi not ready for the tech. And here we go with Yoki, man, and catch it. Nagi wanting to get out of the corner. Nice stuff from Shioki. Oh, goes for the jump in. And Diabari. Oh, no, Diabari. That was the clash was sick. That clash was really sick. Nage with the command grab. Not going to get the juggle with the cavalry, but it's still okay. Gets the corner positioning. Going to put that wig on fire. Ah, again, Shioki with the minigun. But no, Nage not biting, man. Very big. No, and the banana for the save. Saved by the banana. My nana. Here we go, back to the neutral. Shuki with the minigun should be able to get the kill. Good stuff from Shuki on set point, by the way. If Shuki takes this one, he shall send Nage in the losers. Start with the round behemoth. Try to grab. Oh no, again with the behemoth. That was an unfortunate burst from Nage. You hate to see it. Here we go, the grab. Shuki looking pretty good. Can smell victory right there. Ah, uh, goes for the low, the low again. Goes for the overhead. Oh, and this should be it. Chokey sends Nagi in the loser's bracket 3 to 1. Darino. Darino versus Mugi. Darino, who has been recently. Um, he has been um, uh, sponsored by a uh, professional team called GP, by the way, which is the reason why he has GP in his handle currently. So, yeah, uh, uh, congratulations to him. He really, really deserved it. Not going to lie. That being said, Darino with the start of the round already bursting. But it's still okay. He is no stranger to the Naguriyuki matchup. He has stated countless amount of time that his favorite matchup in the game is actually versus Naguriyuki. So let's see if he is going to hold through true to his uh, to his impression. We shall see. Mugi, uh, both players currently with a similar life health. Mugi with the advantage though gets the knockdown. He get the corner per carry. He does have one bar of tension. But that being said, he does have also two bars of uh, blood. Build. He's going to get the kill though. <gasps> now too far to get the DP. Hey, this it. And he gets the YRC from Daru. Daru popped that YRC, unfortunately. Mugi taking the lead. One round. Let's see how this pans out. Where is going to be the follow up? The follow up. Here we go with the juggle by Mugi. Gonna get the wall pressure. The corner pressure goes for the grab. Ah, uh, and Daru waking up with the 2P into the 6 HS, man. This man knows no fear. Here we go! Oh, he goes for the fuzzy, man! Nice grab from Daru. Does not use uh, his... Does not use his tension bar to go for extension, but it's okay. Goes for the low, should be able to take it with the RC. No, he's not, because guts! He ain't the guts! Here we go to Fukio, and a 6p for the kill. Good stuff from Daru, not out of it. Alcohol is not going to hinder him. Here we go to start the round with the 6p. And Mugi forcing the burst from Darino and gets the punish off of the chemical using the Beyblade. This was reaction, by the way. Reaction station from Mugi. Mugi with the command grab. Mugi with the low. Mugi with the low. 
And Moogie with the kill. Get boom. Daru down one to zero. Let's see how this pans out. Moogie taking the lead one to zero. Is Darino going to bring it back? We shall see. Good stuff from uh, Mugi, still not going to lie. And now to the next matchup. Oh, Daru finding the opening with the hover. Ah, uh, gets the denote and uh, even gets the punish on the whiff to H uh, the whiff to S from Mugi. Daru with the corner positioning gone. Oh, failed to convert there, but it's still okay. Gonna get the 4 tc for the wall break. What is going to be the mix? We shall see. Ah, nice. Goes for the fuzzy. Not enough to kill, though. And still takes it, though, with a perfect. Nice stuff from Daru. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way, Londori. And welcome to the Brojo. And Mugi forcing Daru to pop the burst very early on. Not going to lie. And Daru, no, that being said, reading that command grab attempt. Gets the corner position. Gets the juggle. Again, double. Chemical love. Thank you very much for the follow, Brojo. And welcome to the Brojo. Oh lord, and Moogie with the 2 is 2 inches counter! Moogie gonna get the corner carry. Unfortunately, unfortunately for him, too far to get any source of conversion off of it. I don't know what happened to my voice, by the way. And unfortunately for Daru. Moogie getting the counter hit off of the Beyblade. That hurt a bunch, man. Not going to lie. Gadaru trying to take it very easily. Does not want to overextend. Recognized that Moogie was going to instant block uh, the 6 HS. Moogie catching the backdash using the close H. The close S. That makes it Daru with the backdash. 6 P for the juggle. He's gonna get the wall break. Hard knockdown using the Fortissimo. Moogie with his life handing by a thread. Oh no, he tried to go for a fuzzy, but too far. No fuzzy for you, Daru. And he's going to get the Wasuda Yuki. Not enough to kill, though, mind you. What is going to be uh, the next step we shall see? Oh, Lord! Daru going for the wake up freaking. Oh, no! And just like this, Daru puts one on the board from an unfortunate golden burst from Moogie, man. Daru, you know, definitely not letting that chance slip. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Start it around over by Darino goes low. Here we go again with that soldier performance. Gonna get the juggle. Oh no, tries to go for a fuzzy again, but Moogie man officially blocked low this time and got opened by the hover, but since he blocked low, couldn't get hit by the fuzzy. Daru going for the 4 TC mode right away. Oh Lord and the delayed stroke, man. Threw a little bit Moogie off of his uh tempo. And Daru managed to seal it out. Daru again with the 4 TC, the, the sultry performance. Gonna get the corner combo into the wall break. What did it mix? Start of the round, H stroke, H stroke from Darino. Darino blocking, force to block, block and blocking. Goes for sultry performance and get the first bait. You've been baited, you baited. Ah, ah, ah. Here we go with Moogie with, oh, again, man, with the fake. The fake low and just like this, Daru should be able to take it. Yeah, he is. Good stuff from Daru the Beast, man. Making Ino look like she's completely busted, man. Good stuff from Daru. Take the lead. Take the lead 2 to 1. What is Moogie gonna do? We shall see. Okay, here we go. The delayed Sultry performance gets it by the DP from Moogie, forcing Daru to pop the burst. A little bit too late to DHS right there, gets scooped by the note. And Moogie man, oh lord, Moogie with the corner pressure. Here we go, the stroke, he gets the punish off of the regular. <gasps> lord, and again, man, the wake up a bar from Daru, knowing that Moogie was gonna go for the grab, the command grab, that is. Here we go, the stroke. And Daru wanting that wall break. Doesn't want to keep the corner. Ah, lord. Here we go with the quick dust, unfortunately. For Mugi, Daru was aware of it, but nice conversion station from Mugi. Should be able to take it. Good stuff, Mugi. Not out of it yet. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go to Sultry, and Daru using the 6P to punish the 2K, uh, the standing K attempt from Mugi. Again, man, with the Sultry doing a big number off of Mugi. Here we go to Wish Punish using the 2S. Gonna get the wall break. Using Fortissimo, so for 
getting a guaranteed hard knockdown off of it. There we go with the low. Mui forced to pop the burst. Gets the Beyblade counter hit. Gonna get the juggle into the cor corner carry. Man, that was a brave 2S counter hit. Oh, Lord, and goes for the cheeky little Megalomania follow up. Dar, Dar, Dar. Good stuff from Dar. And there we go with Mugi. Oh, gets hit by the uh, age stroke. You hate to see it. Here we go with the delayed, man. The delayed overhead using the jumping D. Darren with the wall break. Gonna get positive bonus. One that he loves. Nice freaking patience from Daru. Not. Oh, no, he goes for the fuzzy. And they should be able to do. Moogie gets sent to the loser's bracket by Darino. 3 to 1. Let's get ready to rumble. Shoki versus Arx. Okay, here we go. So, Shoki. As most of you guys uh, uh, actually know, he has sent Nagi into loser's bracket, so definitely no slouch. Especially with such a strong character as Gold Lewis. This guy has been rocking Gold Lewis ever since uh, he has been available in Guilty Gear Strive. So definitely a master, a proficient master of, um, of Gold Lewis. That being said, RX proficient with his own character as well. Rocking that testament ever since they were available. So let's see who is going to... Uh, take it, we shall see an RX man going very, very, very violently right there. That being said, Shioki finding the opening, forcing RX to pop the burst. RX not afraid of uh, the mine. Gets the kill with the 6 feet. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Shioki losing the first match. Oh, but gets the opening with the freaking 2D counter. And here we go with the corner pressure. RX looking pretty bad right now. Gets hit by the overhead. A immediately into the down with the system for the kill. Damn, that was that was annihilation right there. <laughs> that was crazy. Good stuff from Shoki. One round apiece. Who's going to take the advantage? We shall see. Here we go with the crow. Nice with punish from RX. Gets the juggle. Here we go with the crow. Again with the ah, with the arbiter. And RX getting out of the corner. Gonna get uh, the pressure using the crow. Try to enter using the lateral uh, skull. Unfortunately, Shoki was out of range. Here we go. Stain state has been applied. Are you trying to make his way towards his opponent? And here we go with the delayed lateral skull. Shoki saying, I'm done with it. Deal with my minigun. Thank you very much, Nage. Uh, Nage san, arigato gozaimasu. Lead the state. Arigato gozaimashita. And unfortunately, Nage is out of the tournament. Nage-san, go sanka itadaki, arigato gozaimashita. Kyo o tsukai sama deshita. Mata reize shite itadaki, arigato gozaimasu. And RX is putting one on the board. So unfortunately, guys, Nage is out of the tournament. This is really unfortunate. And here we go on with the next battle. RX taking the lead though, 1-0. to zero. Shoki definitely not out of this yet. Definitely has a chance to bring it back. We go with the jump in by RX. Gets the whip punish. And the corner pressure is real. Shoki has to. He has to endure it. Here we go with the stain state. Rx trying to go for the grab. And man, Shoki man looking overwhelmed, not going to lie. Ah, Rx with the arbiter, man. Things are looking pretty bleak, not going to lie. And Rx with the whip punish, man. That is sick. Rx taking the lead. One match, one round. No entire. Good 2HS. Catches Yuki trying to dash towards him. We go with the trade. Ari's right, trying to apply that stained state. Doesn't want to get hit by the forest from Yuki. Yuki with the air to air counter hit. Forcing Ari to pop the burst. Here we go, the Arbiter. And the stained state has been applied. Again with the crow. No entire air. Gets hit by the behemoth. And here we go with Pressure City. Get open once you die. Uh, oh, no, too far. What happened? No. Not like this, Yogi. Not like this. Don't let him out. I should be able to take it with the chip damage. Oh, nice forest. Counter hit from OX, man. And uh, jumping deeper the kill. Good stuff from Yogi. Not out of this yet. Finally puts one on the board. One round, that is. Let's see how this pans out. OX trying to whiff punish. Too late on the recovery, though. 
There we go with the six feet. Stain state has been applied. Nice into air from Ark. Should be able to get a juggle. Yogi's still holding on to his uh, burst, and rightfully so. Gonna get the pressure. Here we go, Delo. RX for Spop the YRC. Again with the minigun. Oh, Lord, nice block. And again with the overhead. RX a little bit too far to get the knockdown. Gets the knockdown. Going for this, uh, the same state. Gonna get the forest juggle, man. And Shioki gets the grab. Shioki forcing RX to pop the burst. Okay, here we go to close S. Uh, RX with the TP doesn't want to deal with the freaking pressure, man. Understandably so, gets the. <gasps> he got the knockdown. He got the jump in. Here we go to Saint State. Ah, uh, man, the, the freaking blocks from Hyuki, man. Good stuff and get scooped, though, by the forest into the low arbiter. RX taking the lead. What is Hyuki gonna do? Let's see how this spins out. And RX with the 2S. Finds the opening. Gonna get the stain state. Forest for the juggle. And here we go with the corner. Pressure from RX. Find the opening with the 2S. Gets the burst bait. Oh no. Here we go. Nice take from Shoki though, man. The resilience of this dude. Tried to bait the burst. RX holding gear to it. Not. Pressing any button. And we're going to grab. Are on the verge of taking this round? Tries to go for the quick dust, but too far to do so. And that was an unfortunately time behemoth right there from Shoki. Just like this, we are on set point by RX. Ow! RX going for the empty low. Goes for the grab. The pressure is real. Nice 6 speed right there to punish this. the. The forest attempt from Shogi. Or he's getting the juggle almost. Gonna go for the grab. He's gonna apply the stain state. Shogi on his last legs. Almost got with punish right there. Here with the Thunderbird. Oh lord, oh no! And you are in a pressure line, you have to hold it. Nice stuff from Shogi. Gonna go low, forcing RX to pop the wire seat. Oh no, that 6 speed though from Yogi. Oh, nice bag that from RX, man. RX going for the quick dust, trying to get the kill. Trying to seal the deal. Oh no, it's too late for the punish on the TP by Yogi. And just like this, still uh, Jacko versus Baikin. Who is going to take it? We shall see. I'm going to go take a real quick uh, glass of water, guys. Be right back. And Stella takes the first round. Let's see if Hagara can bring some sort of adjustment to bring back the momentum. Okay, very nice six spear there from Hagara. Gets the entire. Gonna bring Stella ever so slightly in the corner. Ah, uh, tries to go for the air grab. Unfortunately, Stella was out of range. Stella just running towards Hagara, man. Trying to close the gap. Gets the opening with the Kabari. Nice uh, bar right there from Hagara. Finds the opening with 2k2d. Stella with uh, the Roman cancel. Oh, almost catches the backdash with the Kabari. Goes for the instant Yozan Sen and Hagara with the backdash into uh, the uh, HS for the whiff punish on the tech. Hagara going for the close. Oh lord, the double quick dust, man. The triple dust. Ah, nice. Oh, that's that was sick. That guard point was sick. And using the minion to catch the back dash. Hagara puts one on the board as well. One round, that is. We're going to take the first match, we shall see. Nice Kabari from Stella catches Hagara running towards him. Gonna get the knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. Nice take from Hagara. 
Again, I'm trying to put as many minions on the on the screen as possible to to guarantee his advancement. And here we go. The minions have been set on deck. This is corner positioning. Unfortunately, I got was out of minion bar, but he's got a buff, inviting Sa to pop the bird, the, to pop the overdrive. There should be a clean punish right there. No juggle now. I got up with the corner positioning, going for the freaking oh lord! And still I got open! I got up taking the first match. Taking the lead 1 to 0. What is Stella gonna do? Things look pretty good for him, but. Uh, Lady Scribe, thank you very much for the raid, much appreciated. Here we go with the instant Yo's on Sin. Oh no, and that delay to Tommy Guy, she countered it. You hate to see it! Still again with the freaking jumping S counter hit. Here we go with Yabari from Hagara. Kabari, Kabari. Yeah, Mal Mal. Great time. Very nice fake cross up right there from Hagara. Gets the opening with the counter hit, by the way. Trying to invite Sa to pop the wire receiver. man. Still, uh, man, with the freaking run up to HS. Thank you very much, lady. Much appreciated, as always. Here we go with the second round from the second match. Yeah, I would round start Yo's on and not afraid. Tried to go for the grab, but got adequately uh what's it called? Picked. And I got him in. Tried to go for a grab of his own, but still on point with the tick as well. Nice block from Hagara. Goes for the side switch to cross up counter hit. So I forced to uh endure the pressure. Here we go with the RTR using the minion. Find the opening using the minion again. And here we go with the Kabari. Nice jump out right there from Hagara. Again with the juggle. Not enough to kill though. So close but so far. Still like, getting a little bit angsty. I almost tried to get the grab but too far out of range. Hagara. I got a man staying in the game. We go to the guard point. Unfortunately, Sal didn't uh, commit to any attacks. Oh no, the golden burst! Still uh, not pressing any button on the gold burst, so I got a was unable to get two bars of attention. That being said, he has the corner positioning. Uh, Tristan vice Sal to press the button, man. We go with the minion. Oh lord, 2k, 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 what the hell was that? That was sick, he went to like 7 2k's in a row. I think he's gonna hit him. Yeah, he is. Good stuff from Stella. Said I have had it. Ah, nice. Nice confirm from... I gotta couldn't quite get the juggle though. Ah, Stella first of all, the BRC, the YRC. We're going to guard point and... I gotta win the juggle, gonna get the kill, taking the lead 2-0. to zero. That was sick though, man. The sequence in the corner with Hagira popping like 7 2Ks in a row, that was... That was pretty funny though, not going to lie. But still uh, sticking to his gun. He does have an axle, pocket axle, which he could uh, take out, I suppose, but... Nah. We shall see, we shall see. That being said, here we go with the jump in from Stella counter hit. Ah, no jump in! I get a ooh, I get the freaking Hilage counter hit punish. Nice jump out right there. Ooh, nice backdash. Not to get hit by the 2 HS. No entire. Ah, I get up with the 2k 2 HS. Again with the Hiraki bait, man. He's gonna get the juggle. Not enough to get the kill, but gets the way punish. Ah, into the yes, into the illusion driver for the kill. This is definitely killing. Good stuff from Hagera on set point. Let's see how this spins out. Oh no! Spit out with the side switch. Goes for the grab again. And here we go with Hagara getting opened up. Nice Kabari goes for the side switch again. And gets the kill with the Yuzan Sen. Still uh, definitely not out of it yet. Puts one round on the board. Still set point goal. Here we go. Two minions have been put on the... On the screen, that was a crude this too, it's just not going to lie. And here we go with the Yuzan Sen again. Ah, still, man, on a rampage. Doesn't want 
to go down without a fight. Fortunately for him, spent one bar. Trying to hit Hagara with of uh, fireworks. Nice 6p counter hit right there from Hagara. Tried to go for a quick dust. Well, tried to go for a dust actually. You see all the DM. Nice air to air using the minion. Ah, uh, Lord and Silla walking, just freaking running from one side of the screen to the other, and just like this. Silla finally putting one on the board. Definitely not going down without a fight. Okay, here we go with the checks from Agata using the 2k TD. Jump in from Stella. Gonna get the Kabari. Tries to invite Hagara to press a button. Oh lord, almost got the juggle. That being said, Hagara uses this opportunity to pop the golden burst. Gets two bar of tension. And here we go, the corner positioning. This is huge for Hagara. Goes for the grab. Goes for the low and the grab again. Oh lord, the cheeky twitches, man. Oh no, almost got the juggle. He could have gotten it. I hope it's not going to come back and bite you in the ass, though. Good grab, though, from Hagara. Good stuff. Okay, on set point once again. Let's see if Stella can manage to make a comeback. We shall see. Oh, Lord. What are you, Kai player, Stella? <laughs> and your knife was punished from Stella. Going to get the knockdown. Uh, it goes for a fully charged dust, unfortunately. Hagara was on point. Stella popping the burst. Almost no resources. What is going to be the mix? And here we go with Stella trying to catch Hagera with the 2HS, unfortunately. Hagera always staying out of range. And this is minion time, but Stella popping the freaking overdrive. This is going to be bad for him. Nice juggle from Hagera. Not enough to kill though. And still, with the cavalry, man, gets the freaking side switch he was on sent. Let's go for a grab, but adequately take by Hagala and just like this, Hagala taking two individuals from Japan, both a master of their crest, master of their characters. So, let's see. I think it's not a run back, by the way. Let me check real quick. Who did Atemu fight against first? Ah, oh, it was it too. It too, and uh, he was sent to the losers by Dari. Whereas RF was sent to the losers by Hagiara actually. Damn, okay. Hagiara not playing around today, man. Holy freaking lord. Anyways, here we go with Atemu on fire. Has to hold it. Here we go to corner pressure. Ooh, the counter hit. Atemu trying to push RF ever so slightly in the corner. Again with the counter hit from RF using the dive. Gonna get the knockdown with the wave. Cavalry is here to play. Okay, here we go with the ping pong. Using the bomb. RF getting the knockdown. Gonna get the wave. Gonna get the wave. Gonna get the bomb. Gonna get the wave. Tried to go for the overhead. Little Faust is here. Ah, these things are looking very bad for it. Yeah, that was death right there. What the hell do you want to do? Good stuff from RF. Gonna get the kill. Okay, here we go. The corner positioning from Atem. Tried to bait something, probably looking for the burst, I guess. Ah, Little Faust protecting his father ever since day one. Nice here to wear from Atem. Gonna get the wall, the, uh, the, the counter hit. Grab from RF. Gonna get the knockdown. Atemu. With the wig on fire. Fortunately for him, he got rid of it. RF man with the corner positioning. Wanting to keep Atem in the corner. Does not want him to go out. And Nani got the kind of fast man. Atemu got out of harm's way. That being said, RF forced to pop the YRC, forcing also Atemu to pop the burst. 
No anti-air Atom trying to go uh, air to air, but Faust unfortunately too high in the air to get hit by it. Nice punish on the grab attempt by RF from Atom. Here we go with RF getting the cavalry. Gonna force Atom in the corner. Nice block from Atema on the spear. And yeah, Atema's life hanging by a thread and just like this. RF taking the lead 1 to 0. What is gonna be the next battle we shall see? Atema with the start of the round. DP gets the counter hit with the Beyblade, tries to go for the command grab, but RF timing his wake up with a gold burst. You go the ping pong match. Unfortunately, RF getting hit by his own bomb. Ah, Atem failing to juggle. This is unfortunate for him. Of course, also pop the burst. And here we go back to the neutral. RF with the 2S sweep, man. Catching that Pukyo. Little Faust is here to play. RF managing to pin Atemu on the ground. And, but Atemu with the double overhead blocks, man. On point. Here we go. We are back to ping pong mode. And Atemu, man, getting hit by the spear. Good stuff from RF, man. You go with the Shinori Yuki from Atemu, trying to push RF in the corner. RF with the checks using the standing K. Also keeping that minion pressure. That being said, Atemu got out of the corner. Nice blocks on from Atemu. One bomb is out. No ping pong for you, sir. You keep the bomb, please. And RF again with the cavalry, man. Definitely looking good for him. Here we go, the jump in. Or if not enough bar to get the Roman cancel. Wow, Atemu forcing Arf to pop the burst. Here we go with the cavalry to keep the pressure going. And here we go, the 2S. Atemu trying to push Arf in the corner. Gonna get the kill with the 6HS. Or if not out of this yet, putting one on the board. We have one round a piece, one match a piece actually. Let's see who is going to come out on top. We shall see. And here we go with that head bomb, followed by the command grab by RF. Let's go low this time around. As we force pop the burst. And again with the Beyblade. Atemu getting uh, the knockdown, goes for the command grab. And here we go, the corner positioning. RF with your bari, man. Gets the knockdown with the 2S. And here we go, the 4H counter hit. This did a lot of damage. Yeah, RF man trying to get something started, even though he he was looking so comfortable during the first match, man. Atemu definitely here with the adaptation station there. But unfortunately gets command grab, not enough to kill him. Oh lord! And oh no, and move! And not Mugi, and Atemu getting hit, man. Getting hit by the meteor. Good stuff from RF. Here we go to close S entire. Atim with the take corner pressure, man. That being said, RF trying to make his way out of the corner gets the sweep twice in a row. And Atim getting the cavalry, but it's okay. RF jumping over it out of harm's way.
Okay, here we go with the oh entire from Atemu man counter hit. Couldn't quite get a juggle off of it though. That being said, RF does have the life fleet and the minion juggle following it. Good lord. RF taking the lead two to one. What is gonna happen? On to the fourth match of this encounter. Is RF gonna be able to seal the deal? Fucking RF man with the cavalry. Uh oh. Ah, uh, Tim, forced to pop the burst, man. That was so unfortunate. Here we go, the far S count it from RF. Definitely wants that trumpet. Yes, he does, and yes, he will. And back to the neutral, man. RF trying to keep it as. Slow as possible, does not want to work Sam, rightfully so. Only needs one match. But man, it's hell on earth, man. What's going on? Ah, Tim, finally getting opened by the overhead using the syringe. And just like this, we are on set point. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Ah, oh, Lord, and the counter hit, man. That must have hurt so much. And just like this, Atebu man, with the corner pressure, he's uh, down one round. That being said, man, or if, if he takes this one, he should be able to seal the deal. Nice air to air from Atebu man, and Atebu staying alive. Not out of this yet. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with RF and the dive kick. Oh no, RF reading that command grab, but goes for the gold burst. Here we go with the ping pong. Again, Arf with the 2S to catch, man. To catch freaking Atemu with the Fukios. Arf with the quick Roman cancel. Try to beat the birds. Gonna get the corner pressure. Oh no, and the trumpet is real. Oh, Atemu with the big Beyblade counter. It should be able to seal it. Good stuff from Atemu. Staying alive, man. Okay, we're going on to the last match. Let's see if RF can make a comeback. Well, shift the momentum because right now it's entirely in Atem's hand. Good lord. Start of the match. RF managing to land the command grab. Gonna get that fiery wig. Good stuff from RF. And RF man with the cavalry this time around using the extension Roman cancel to continue his pressure. RF Atem finally out of the corner. Oh no, but Atem man, Atem pop one too many times. Use one too many special attacks. And just like this, we are on set point with RF. Atemu going for the front hook into the grab. Gets it by sir the syringe though. And Atemu forced to pop the burst. RF man. Oh, Atemu activated his little Faust. Maybe he didn't want to do it, but didn't really work in his favor. Man. What is, what is Atemu going to do? Here we go, Punk Punk time. Uh, or I'm gonna get the oh, almost got the guard break. Okay, here we go with potentially the last sequence of this match. Atemu having to watch for absolutely everything and gets hit by the meteor. RF eliminating Atemu three.
Very, very strong Gold Lewis player versus I get a very, very strong Jaguar player. Let's see how this spins up. I have a tendency to think that the matchup is probably in favor of Gold Lewis, but then again, I'm not familiar with exactly this particular matchup. So. But in my in my opinion, I, I believe it's probably in favor of Gold Lewis. I really don't know. Anyways, here we go. Start of the round. Kiki trying to close the distance between him and Hagiara, but Hagiara content to just throw their minions at their face. Here we go, the jumping D again. Can here we go, the corner pressure. Finally, Jacko finding the opening goes straight for the Elysian driver. And I got like getting the kill with the 2k 2d takes the lead first round. Here we go the jumping D. Kiki getting the corner position gets that burst bait. Gonna get a lot of mileage out of it. Wanting to not get the wall spot though. To continue his pressure. Good stuff from Yoki takes it with a perfect man. Whatever you can do, I can do better. What is the next match? You're jumping D by Hyoki. Very nicely done. Again with the jumping D, man. Uh, again with the grab. I got a forcing Hyoki to pop the burst. Very nice. Air to air from Hyoki gets the counter hit. And almost got the YRC punish. And man, I got a trick to fight his way out of the corner and actually manages to do it thanks to the help of his minion. Again with the grab. Oh, he's getting the Jimmy. The, the Jimmy. <laughs> he gets the shimmy. He gets the Jimmy. <laughs> and he's going to get the kill with Illusion Driver. Good stuff from Hagara takes the lead 1 to 0. Definitely not over Toto. He got the Jimmy. Here we go with the start of the round. And Hagara catching Gold Lewis's ankle right there with the 2k 2d. And Shioki with the corner positioning, man. Rock the baby! How you doing? Bueno. You're doing good, man. And here we go with your red. Have to hold it. Have to hold it. You have to hold it. And Shioki, man. Putting one run on the board. Okay, here we go with Hagiara trying to keep Shuki in the corner. Almost got the juggle though. And the pressure is real. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Ah, uh, the corner pressure is real. Do you like getting corner pressure in Gold Lewis? Oh, and the shimmy from Hagiara goes straight for the Illusion Driver. Good, good. Enjoying some matches and chilling, that's good to hear, bro. Kagiara still not giving up. Well, currently with the life lead, so doesn't need to give up. Oh, no, no, I get again with the gold burst, got baited. Oh, Lord, and behemoth power in the corner. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. This is fair damage, by the way. This is, this is fair damage. This is absolute fair damage. And Shioki puts one on the board. One match apiece. Let's see how this wins out. I get already out of burst. Forced to pop because of Shioki. And here we go with the corner pressure. Why is it high low? What are you gonna do? Want me to grab? He goes for the low this time around and gets the kill. I got a looking definitely confused right now. <laughs> Things aren't looking too well for me.
Okie dokie, and here we go with Hagiala again with the minions on the board. Gonna get the corner positioning. Here we go, this is pressure time. Unfortunately, he also get the juggle here and there, but it's still okay. The pressure's still here. Go, almost got the juggle yet again. And this time around, Hagiala gets the juggle and the kill. Nicely done by Hagiala. Takes it with a perfect battle. What a statement. Little jumping D by Hyogi gets scooped by the sweep from Hagiala. And here with the juggle. And Hagiala taking the lead 2 to 1. Good stuff by Hagiala. Whew. Let's see if Yoki can ma manage to bring it back. We shall see. Nice guard point right there from Hagiala. Prevents Yuki from continuing his onslaught. Oh lord, the mine is here. What are you gonna do? Nice guard point yet again from Hagiala, man. Again with the guard point. Definitely catching onto the drift from Yoki. Even gets the wave, the freaking the, the burst bait. This definitely did, mm, did damage to the mental. Oh lord, you have to hold it. Oh, and Shioki man has a very very steep mountain to climb. Ah, and find the opening. I get out not for being the burst, he might regret it though. And he is! This kill, are you serious? Holy freaking lord. Hagiala, man. I feel like he should have popped the burst. Ah, she give it the hard knockdown. We go with the grab by Hagiala. Gonna push Yuki in the corner. Gonna get the grab. The Thunderbird is out. And let's ride with the system. Third level. Should be enough to kill. Yeah. Damn. You'll keep bringing it back, man. Two matches apiece. Well, two matches. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go with the 4K from Hagera, forcing Yuki to pop the burst. Very nice juggle from Hagera. Oh, we're gonna get the minion juggle. Here we go with uh, the corner pressure with the minions. Wow, that was a cheeky freaking 6P, man. Man, Shuki has been blocking for the past freaking 5 minutes. Oh, Lord, and the juggle for the kill by Hagera for the Well, for the kill. We are on set point. What is Yuki going to do? He absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay alive and well in the tournament. And the pressure is real, man. Look at this, man. What is Gold Lewis to do? And... Oh, yeah, still with the corner positioning. Gets the whiff punish. Couldn't quite confirm off of it though. Oh, Lord. Nice 6 speed from Shoki. Got rid of one of the... One of the minions. Nice air to air from Shoki. Not out of this yet. Ah, uh, gets the freaking opening with the cross-up. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, gets the entire... Thanks for the follow, Chronox here, and welcome to the Brojo. With the 2K TD from Hagara. Good lord. And the corner pressure, here you go. Uh, Hagara not resorting to using the burst, by the way. And just, uh, I had, uh, it takes a lot of time to do the application. And after this, to celebrate, I went out with a friend. 
to drink. Like I literally drank all afternoon long. I am completely kaput. I'm I'm completely live. I'm so tired. <laughs> so if I don't commentate that much, I'm really sorry. I apologize in advance. I will try to keep the um the flow of the tournament as smooth as possible. But just uh, be aware that I might not commentate like every single match like 100% because I'm I'm just so freaking tired. <laughs> That being said, here we go with Mugi already forcing Arf to pop the burst. Arf trying to make his way out of the corner. Nice and terror right there from Arf. Tried to go for the uh, command grab. Unfortunately, Mugi got out of range in due time. Very nice uh, side switch using the meteor and the teleportation from uh, the uh, what's it called from the uh, from the scarecrow. That being said, back in the neutral, this is where Faust shines, especially in the Dinago Yuki matchup. He goes for the side switch yet again using the Scarecrow. Morning. Here we go, Little Faust is here out to play. And Little Faust has been triggered. But that being said, look at how many, how many freaking meteors that are did uh, get. It's crazy. And all right, for the quick dust for the kill. Nicely done. <laughs> Little Faust still not out of this yet. <laughs> again, here we go with the start of the second round. Let's see if Mugi can bring it back. Get swept to S by RF. Oh. <laughs> and here we go with the dive kick, but Mugi went with the 6p man. Adequately entire RF. And here we go with the scarecrow yet again to switch sides. This time around no meteor to to uh to protect to protect uh RF from doing the scarecrow. Then RF uh Mugi going to take that trump and rightfully so. Oh, RF reading the command grab attempt. Very nicely done by him. He gets the goal. Mix, mix, mix for the kill. Very nicely done. RF taking the lead. 1 to 0. And on to the next battle. Mugi against RF. So far, RF has the advantage. Well, has the lead, not the advantage. And Mugi going for the sweeps. Keeping RF on his toe. That being said, RF managed to get out of the corner, but put straight out, uh, put straight back in it. Unfortunately, we go to Fire Chess. Two S, Fire Chess. Very nicely done. And here we go back to the neutral. I'm trying to fish for Mugi so hard. And here we go with Mugi bringing it back. And on. Very nice jump in right there from Arf with the Serene. Arf gonna get that way on fire. Doubly so. Ah, uh, gonna get the freaking. He almost got the wall break with the freaking juggle. That was sick. And Arf goes for the sweep. Gonna be able to wall break. And here we go again, man, with the Shizuriyuki catching your opponent so high in the air. Good stuff from not from from Are we gonna say Nage? <laughs> that being said, here we go on to the next round. And Mugi with the closest, closest again, encouraging Arf to press a button. And Mugi forced to pop the burrs though. Arf again with the 2S counter hit, man. Been working wonders for him. And here we go with the mix, 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 and nice reaction timing from Mugi to pop 6P just in case uh, Arf goes for the extension tornado. Very nicely done. And Mugi man with the RC key almost had it. That being said, RF had the burst to make it safe. But to interrupt the uh, the onslaught from Mugi. Mugi does have one more bar of tension. Wow, got the juggle off of the Oh no! And RF man! RF gets it by the 6 age. You hate to see it. Good stuff by Mugi, not out of this yet.
and on to the next battle. Mark already with the corner positioning. Very nice XP from Mugi. Hits Arf out of the air. Ah, yeah. Okay, and on to the Niga del Kana. Okay. And here we go immediately into the Wasuri Yuki. But RF has popped the burst early. He was able to get out of the pressure first. Here we go with Mugi with the onslaught in the corner. And just like this, Mugi takes the first round of this third match. Nice 6 p counter hit from Mugi. Here's the corner positioning. Gonna get the OTG. And goes for the double. Okay, Mugi gonna get the wall break. Very nice command grab and immediately resorts to canceling into the dust. Mugi taking the lead actually was lit up until now, but now clearly takes the two to one. Just needs one more match in order to seal the deal. Here we go with the dive. Ah, Mugi with the Shizuriki. Goes for the Rekka. Goes for the command grab. Goes for the. Okay, RF out of the woods, out of the corner at least. And again, Mugi on point with the 6 beam has been working wonders with him. Here we go with RF man wanting to open Mugi up as much as possible. And Mugi with the closest counter in them. Oh, I'm gonna get the meteor. Was probably looking for the side switch using the scarecrow. That's why he got hit, I suppose. Okay, and on to again the next round. Mugi getting the far HS to connect. And here we go with the Doko Meteoru for Mugi with the corner pressure on slot, man. And Mugi, man. Oh, he was on the verge of taking it. Gets hit by the side switch using the scarecrow. Oh, uh, Mugi, man. He tried to and uh, he tried to seal the deal. We couldn't quite do it. Ah, and gets hit by the dive kick. Just like this, RF puts one on the board as well. Two matches apiece. Is Mugi gonna change character? We shall see. Yo, Irom, how you doing, man? Okay, this is gonna be the final match of this screen set. Let's see how this ends up. Here we go, the juggle in the corner. RF wants that opening. Mugi with a grab. Let's push Arf in the corner, gets it, forces Arf to pop the burst. Air to air. And Arf with the spear, man. Ah, uh, goes for the side switch again. This is so tricky, by the way. RF with the Naniga Deru Kana, man, trying to suffocate Mugi, man, but Mugi trying so hard to get out of this pressure. And RF takes the first round of this final set. Mugi absolutely needs two rounds in a row if he wants to stay in the, cor in the corner. He wants to stay in the tournament. Nice header by RF. Keeping Mugi in on the ground. Nice stuff from RF. Gets the conversion station the corner carry. And man, holy freaking lord. RF looking very, very good right there. As the cavalry gonna get the extension. 
Air to air, little fast is triggered, and RF takes it with the quick dust. Eliminate Smoogie out of the. Ah, uh, so, 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 so. He's going to win. Daru versus Oryx. Here we go. Good to go. Sorry for the wait. So, Daru Eno versus Oryx. People tend to say that this matchup is in favor of Eno, I think. I kind of agree with them. I definitely do. But Testament can be pretty pesky, though, to deal with. But yeah, just for the fact that the chemical can pretty much take care of most of the options of Testament is yeah, pretty pretty good. I don't know what. And here we go with my lord, the fuzzy. This is crazy. Good stuff from uh, good stuff from Daru, man. And goes for the stroke. And then, oh lord, that was sick. Nice bar from Daru. Ooh, almost got hit by the orbiter. Oh, and the check, the 6P from RX been on point. Daru getting hit low, tries to go for the grab, but Daru on point just goes for the back down. And on to the next battle. Nice check from RX using the 2K 2D. Gonna get the same state. That being said, Daru jumped back and then did the sultry performance to make the 6P of RX Swift and then punish him accordingly. Again with the sultry. Yeah, RX definitely checking these areas, looking for it. Oh no, too far, but it's okay. Dari had two bars in order to make it safe. RX will get a juggle right there. And here we go, RX man with the onslaught oh, again. And just like this, we have one round of peace. What is Darino gonna do? Oh, he's definitely looking good right there. Gonna get the juggle into the stain state. Oh, Lord Daru going straight for the golden burst, man. Not afraid. Wow. And he goes for the fuzzy, he goes straight for the Fortissimo. Almost got the back dash. Oh no, and again with the 4TC moment. The disrespect. Well, anyways, disrespect or rather uh, reaction, man. The reactions from this dude. Good stuff from Daru Tings lead 1 to 0. Let's see if Forex can bring back the momentum. He did have a very nice second uh, round, so it's not over till it's over. And here we go with the conversions from Daru. Already with the wall break. RX with the lateral skull to catch the stroke from Daru. Nice 6P. Gonna get the juggle off of Stain State. Forcing Daru to pop the birds. We go Daru trying to go for a fuzzy. Probably. Did it a little bit too late. Execution error, if you ask me. Here we go with the notes. Daru not trying to zone, man. Trying not to overextend. RX does have like the life lead. Not anymore, but he does have a burst. Double super scary it is, man, it is. Ah, Lord. Ah, and again with the six speed, this should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Testament. Oryx. And start of the round over by Daru, catches Oryx. Uh, crouching. Okay, here we go with the hover. It's looking a little bit lost. Still doesn't want to work Sam, and rightfully so. And here we go with the third round of this encounter. Of the second map. Let's see if Daru can seal the deal. And Daru going for the Fortissimo, gonna get the wall break. Goes for the fuzzy. Oh, and gets the burst. Good lord, Daru no taking it with the perfect. The statement of this man. Daru taking the clean freaking lead on this one. Is Ari's gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. Ah, the big punish on the chemical counter hit. Ari's also forced to pop the burst off of a counter hit of his own. 
Second counter hit using the 2HS from Daru. Daru with the empty grab. Daru with the Fortissimo! Catching you snooze, I would have definitely gotten hurt. This should be enough to kill, yes it is. Just like this Daru on match point. Let's see if he can send Oryx in the loser's bracket, we shall see. Daru looking really good, going with everything in the book, the fuzzies, the shimmies, the everything. The Uncle Vernon. Why did I say this? I don't know. <laughs> Here you go, man. Oh, Daru. Daru getting juggled. Oryx, man. Oh, on the bridge of taking it. Oh, no. And the Fortissimo out of nowhere gets air grab, but it's still okay. Daru still on set point. Let's see if he can seal the deal. Nice check from Oryx. Oh, gets a huge 6 HS counter hit. Not enough till it's not over till it's over though. Here we go, Daru and the note. Lord, your bar is real. Daru going low. Save jump. Yes. Save him. Go for the grab. Oh no! And that freaking. Ah, uh, that overdrive. The, okay, Roman canceled just to make use of the invincibility frames of the startup of the overdrive of Testament. Very nicely done, Barrix. This is some Faust tech right here. And finding the opening, forcing... Oh, forcing Daru to pop the burst and using the Arbiter to seal the deal. Arx not out of this yet, puts one on the board. Good lord. Here we go with early burst from Testament, from Arx, forced to pop the burst. Daru going low. Ah, uh, goes for the freaking re-jump. Rx almost out of it. And are using the freaking delayed overhead jumping. Deep. Nice H stroke. He gets the counter hit. Ah, uh, they're referring the opening with sultry performance. Taking Arx ever so slightly in the corner. Arx on the verge of having a burst though. Oh, finally Arx first pop the burst and they should do. And just like this, Daru is going to send Arx in the losers. Three to one, very on to the next battle. Gonna be none other than Hagela versus Arv. This is the loser semi-final. We still have the losers final and then the grand final before ending today's tournament. We shall see who is going to take it. A big standing H. Counter hit start of the round. This did a lot of damage. I get out with the minions, man. Definitely smelling, smelling fear. Okay, and here we go with Agiela. Pushing our F in the corner. We need to find the opening. Ah, the pressure is real. Look at this. Agiela has two bars, by the way. Nice block from Agiela, though, from the overhead. I'm gonna grab that back dash. Goes with the minion, by the way, to continue the onslaught. And they should be able to do, yeah. I think this is a run back, isn't it? Wait one second, let me check. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I think I got a pretty a played against Nagi after. Not RF. Uh, wait, Hagera was there. Oh, uh, he played against RF. Actually, Hagera was the one to send RF in the losers. So, yeah, this is a run back. And RF, this is the revenge of RF, basically. Anyways, there we go with Hagiara in the guard point. Getting hit by the quick dust. Roman cancel uh, extension. Very nicely done. Here we go with Hagiara in the far H counter hit. Oh lord, air to air, no air to air. Del gets hit by the minion, man. Cannot be caught slouching, man. And no side switch from RF, even though there was Meteor. Nice. Nice spear from RF. Not out of this yet. And here we go with the onslaught from RF. Trying to find the opening, finally finds it. Oh lord, Haya just jumping out casually of the corner. 
Oh lord. Oh no. How can I get hit by the uh, mix, mix, mix? Ah, fast again with the mix, mix, mix. And the dive kick gets hit, counter hit with the H, the Nick H from Hagela though. Hagela with three minions on deck. Oh, nice conversion from Hagela. Just jumps over the cavalry, by the way. Very nicely done. I get on the verge though of losing this, his health is really low. But nothing that ah uh, lord a little bit of a bar I can take care of. Here we go with finally I get forced to pop the burst. Probably wanted to get a uh, gold burst, probably. Okay, here we go. Oh nice juggle! Prime position from I get up. Prime position. I got it with the corner pressure, man. I feel like they've been caught in the. He's been. Oh no! And the bar from RF actually saves his life, man. First, uh, first round, first match goes to RF, and this is the wrong flag for Hagia. I got it from Japan. The defense was pretty sick, not going to lie. RF is sick, man. He's sick. Here we go, the command grab. RF goes, uh, putting fire on the wig. Nice ping pong. Uh, RF recognizing that the trumpet was out. Jumps right after it. Very nice juggle by RF, gonna get the kill. And here we go with the juggle from Hagel. I wanted to get the corner carry. Nice knockdown by RF. Gonna force Hagela to pop the burst. And RF with the spear! Tries to go for the spear again. I get a force to pop the burst. Uh, 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 force to endure it. Gets opened by the quick dust though, and this should be. No, not enough to kill actually. Okay. Here we go with the meteorites and uh, the fire on the wick for the kill. RF taking the lead actually against the person who actually sent him in the losers. Which is uh which is pretty yeah, it's very poetic if you ask me. Okay, so what is uh Hagera going to do? He does have a pocket axle, but I don't I don't see him changing so far into the game. Let's see how this pans out. Nice 2D counter hit. Nice. And here we go with the spear by RF again. And Hayala not out of this yet wants to bring it back. That being said, RF being extremely solid. Oh no, this is not gonna hit. Yeah, too far. No! No punish on the gold burst either. But I think this is probably one of the best scenarios that RF could have could, could have had like currently right now. Good stuff. He didn't commit, didn't want to press a button in the event that he was gonna get grabbed or anything. Here he, and here we go with the corner pressure though from Hagera. Hagera and the ping pong game is on! RF man. Oh, on the bridge of taking it. I sense. Oh no, he got jumped on. Forcing RF to pop the burst. Oh, and the wait for the kill. RF on match point. Let's see if he can seal the deal. Here we go, the spear. I uh, get out with the knockdown. Gets the grab. Gets the grab again. Tries to go for. Variations, but this time around RF not getting open. And Hagara man would do corner pressure relentless. Wants to get that chip damage. RF probably just content to just block. Raise his burst level as max as possible, I, I suppose. Dual 
He's, a, he's on the verge of getting his burst back. We are still on set point, by the way. Nice check right there from Agatha gets the knockdown. Is the counter hit closest? And forced the burst, and that was an unfortunate burst. Agatha going straight into the illusion driver. Is this gonna kill? Ah, oh, that was so close to kill. But it's gonna be the mix. Nice to bar if from RF, unfortunately, no bar to get anything going really. Here we go again with the dive kick. And here we go with RF with the YRC, not out of this yet. Goes for the spear. And the 6 p from Hagiara, man, bringing it back, man. One to two. Damn, that was so clutch. Not going to lie. Okay, let's see if Hagiara can continue in this. In this current set, we shall see. Nice whiff on it from Hagiara. Forced RF to pop the burst. Good lord. And RF man. Uh, with the corner pressure. Gives a knockdown. Here we go, it's hammer time. Uh, good lord. Oh, the bomb man has been. <laughs> the bomb has been like freaking bouncing off the wall so many times. Double bomb for you, sir. And here we go with I gotta get a hit by the bomb explosion just like this. RF on match point. Set point, actually. Here's the command grab. Catching how I get up, snoozing one too many. Ah, here we go, the wake up. Ah, oh, lord. Good bur gold boost right there from how I get up. He has two bars of tension to make something happen. And the corner, man, the corner. The corner pressure from how I get up. Gonna get the illusion driver, not gonna kill? Nah, not nearly enough. It's, that being said, it can really go both ways. Oh no! The counter hit! Oh, an art boy for the Quake Dust. Not gonna kill by any means. Oh! RF with the freaking command grab! Oh, and he goes for the Quake Dust for the kill and just like this, RF eliminate for the next battle. RX versus RF. Let's see how this pans out. So this is the loser's final, we still have the grand final, the person who wins this match is going to have uh, a shot at Daru Ino, currently who's sitting in grand final. Very nice trade right there from RF, keeping RX in the corner. We go with the double overheads from RF, man. How are you supposed to block that? I don't know. Nice 6p from RX, getting the same state. Here we go the TP, trying to close the gap between him and his opponent. Quick does by RF. Gonna get the juggle into a killing combo? Yes, definitely. RF taking the lead. Here we go the Arbiter. Not getting hit by the spear of RF. Again the spear. Ah, oh, I'm getting hit by the Arbiter by Arx from the other side of the screen. RC from Arx. Trying to adequately zone, gets the jump in. Counter hit, also. Nice XP once again. Oh, he's definitely having a good read. And here we go with the far S counter hit. Ah, both players forced above the burst. Let's see how this spins out. All right, I'm going for this for the quick dust. Unfortunately, gets blocked by Rex. We have one round apiece. Oh, 
Okay, here we go with the knockdown by Arx. Alright, getting that that cavalry. Arx gumbate. Gumbate. Oh again, Arx man with that arbiter has been the bane of RF, I'm definitely not gonna lie. Very nice overhead from RF. Gonna get the corner carry. Oh, that was scary. RX with the jump in. Wanted that burst so bad, but RF didn't give it to him. Uh, both opponents have the burst right now. <laughs> RX with the golden burst. RF with... Oh, side switch! Gets grabbed by RX, who was looking for it, by the way. Oh, spear to catch a back dash. This could go anyways. This could definitely go anyways and does freaking teleportation behind testament for the kill using the scarecrow. Good stuff from uh, RF. Takes the lead at 1 2 0. We will get some water, guys. Be right back. Very nice juggle from RF gets the kill. RF taking the lead right now. 1 to 0 completely. Thank you very much for the follow, this shit piece on, and welcome to the Burgers. Hmm. Nice stun state right there from RX. Ah, still in the stun state. Ah, too late to activate it. That being said, nice Abari from RX. He's gonna get the juggle off of his 2D. Stain state has been applied. Arf has to take it. Nice six speed counter hit right there from Arf. He's going straight into the super orbiter. And Arf going for the low blocks. The mix, mix, mix. Ah, Arf catching that back dash man. Getting the juggle. Goes for the safe jump into the wall break. Okay, here we go with the far edge. Oh, our forced above the burst. <gasps> oh, and the overhead, man. You ready to see it? Oh, and our going for the quick TP, man. You just one hit. Oh, and the spear prevails. Our F, man, up two to zero. Is he going to make his way towards the arena? We shall see. That was sick, man. The spear for the kill. There we go with the jump in. Oh, I'm going for the spear. Nice block from RX. Ow! Oh, nice block on the overhead from RX. Gets hit by the dive kick, though. Counter hit. RX with the Arbiter trying to keep RF on his toe. Arbiter again. No punish on the spear. There we go with the scarecrow side switch. RF again with the. Oh, the dive kicks. Where is he from RF saying get off of me? Oh, wow, the 2 HS whiff on it was sick. From RX. With the Arbiter. Oh, and the, what the hell happened? That was a grab. The yeah, RF finally first popped the burst. Ah, I guess stay in state though. Not enough to kill. Too far to do anything off of it. And RX with uh, the Arbiter. Catching RF sleeping with it. Here we go again with uh, the lateral skull. Not hanging anybody. Oh, I'm going for the command grab. It's Afro time. We're going to counter hit from RX, man. Counter hit left and right. Thank you very much for the follow ownings and welcome to the Brojo. Wow, that was an unfortunate burst. And or should be able to get the wall break. Not enough to kill them. 
We're going to counter it from RX, man. RX with the freaking knockdown. Uh, RX going for the Arbiter, but the freaking blocks from RF is crazy. We go RF with the quick Roman cancel no entire. RX gets the knockdown and the bar from RF prevails. We are on set point. Let's see if he can uh, seal the deal. Oh, definitely, yeah. The 6P of Testaments go so freaking high and so freaking far. Really, really good 6P. Okay, and here we go. RF gets hit by the 6P. Speaking of which. <laughs> ah. Yeah, and the cavalry is out to play. RF getting hit by the Arbiter. Tries to catch RX with the spear. About T1. And just like this, RX puts one on the board. Yes, indeed he does. We want to do. Did RX find something? Did he change his uh, playstyle enough to try to reverse the momentum? We shall see. Nice tick throw, a tick command throw right there from RX. Gonna take full use and full advantage of this wing. And here we go with the air to air by RF. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. Quick dust. Too far to get anything. Oh lord. Look at the freaking blocks though, man. We go the wait is here. And the freaking 2k for the opening. 31 has been baited and death has been given. Good stuff from RF. We are on set point once again. Nice use of the mix, mix, mix to catch the bad guy. And RX has been successfully fished. Ah. RF with the fiery wig gets the meteor. Here we go with the bomb. Arbiter by RX. RF trying to get his momentum started. Ah, ah nice ping pong. No no punish on the, the TP, unfortunately. Anyways, that being said. RF with the corner pressure, man. Uh, gets the cavalry. Gets the quick dust and gonna get the kill. Good stuff by RF takes it a quick. Uh, so GP Darino versus RF. We'll see how this pans out. And here we go. On to your casting vote. Welcome to the to the Brojo's lon Lonely Raven. Thank you very much for the follow. Or of the goat, indeed. And here we go with the start of the round. Immediate, man. Immediate burst from Darwin. Does not want to have to deal with any sorts of pressure. Oh, here we go with the Meteor. All right, with the knockdown. Gonna get the tick pressure. He's got the cavalry. The dive kick. And the overdrive for guaranteed kill. Nicely done by Aurif. Boom! So not that. <laughs> Good stuff from RF. Gonna get the first round. Oh, get a bridge and cookie. One second, guys. He's gonna make Daru's name a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit shorter, so it fits in the header. Anyways, here we go. With Darwino getting hit by everything in the book. <laughs> there we go with uh, the quick Roman cancel, the new tech that Darwino is currently using. Goes for the wall break. Oh, Lord, in the jump in. Unfortunately, not too good right there. Darwino getting scooped by RF. Corner pressure. Again with the forest to it. Oh, Lord, okay, get off of me. And gets hit by the air to air. First match actually goes to RF, man. Holy freaking lord. RF on point today. Are we gonna see a, a bracket reset? That would be sick. Darvis is RF too. Run back from March 6th Grand Finals. Yeah, exactly, man. This is it. This is it. This is it. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the stroke. And oh no, gets hit by the banana. We hate to see it. Nice dive from Darv. Oh uh, no, no air to air right there for you, Daru. Alright, getting the uh, getting the advantage. Tries to go for the sultry performance, but RF on point with the punish. 
Now he finally has the knockdown. Forces Arf to pop the burst. Goes for the quick Roman cancel into uh, the low. Will Faust actually win a tournament? Well, actually, a Faust won last time's tournament, Luminous. He won. He won last Brojo Cup, by the way. <laughs> uh, Nage did. Nage won the last Brojo Cup tournament, so don't worry. We have good. We have very, very good, good uh, Faust players here. I can even send you and direct you to the uh, to the top eight of it. But yeah, here you go. That's last week's. Uh, Last week's, uh, what's it called, uh, Virtual Cup Tournament, and Nage actually managed to, to win. <laughs> so maybe Arth might win this one as well. It's perfectly possible. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Anyways, and here we go, on to the next battle. And... Exactly, yeah, which ball, exactly. And here we go with Darino catching that backdash from RF. Goes for the low, double low by the way. Goes for the re-jump using the jumping beat. Things are looking pretty dire for RF. He's going to get a burst anytime soon though. Nice spawn, nice... Oh, Lord and Daru baiting that burst from RF and putting one on the board. Very nicely done. Okay, Daru waking up. Sobering up. <laughs> Let's see how this spins out. A nice stick pressure right there from Daru. Gets open low. Ah, gets open low. Again, here we go with the stroke. Goes underneath. Has the cavalry to make it safe. Gets it by the 2S counter hit. Ah. And here we go with Daru. Finding the opening with the what? The 6 HS. That was sick. Ah, Lord. The weight is here. Daru going for the stroke again. Gets opened up by the 2k. And the double mix mix mix. Wake up, Fortissimo gets it by the way though. This is unfortunate. But it's still better than keeping uh, keeping oh well. Still gets it in the corner. Almost got the wall splat though, RF. And RF well gets opened by the Oh Lord, is that gonna be a comeback? And the wait is here. Oh Lord, he didn't get it by it. Daru doesn't have enough. He didn't have enough uh, bar in order to do something. Oh, and he takes me, man, to punish the freaking Serene. You hate to see it. The reactions of this man. Daru, man. Daru, dog. Never giving up, man. Never gonna give it. No, no, I'm not singing that. Anyways, very nicely done by Daru. Gets. Oh, no, that was an unfortunate burst. What the hell? That would not give it, just say no, I don't need it. I don't need my burst, take it. That being said, here we go. Very nice XP from Daru. Going for the, uh, uh, oh lord. Yabari by RF takes his turn back. And this should be due. Yeah, this should be enough. Good stuff from RF. Do we have perfect, uh, a perfect tyrant now? Let's see how this spins up. Oh lord, Daru going low. Gets hit by the 2S to hit. Again with the standing S. Oh, and the side switch. Oh, Little Faust has been woken up. Uh, yeah, Daru has to endure it. Still 1-1, yeah, exactly. Still 1-1 indeed. Alright, taking, yeah, uh, currently. Oh, Lord, got opened by the fuzzy. Oh, Lord, good stuff. Oh, no, you hate to see it. Nice stuff from Daru. Gonna keep this. Yeah. Goes for the. Oh, Lord. That was so cheeky. Goes for the resets, by the way. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no, in the back dash, man. You hit this hit. Ah, uh, no, too far. Gets hit by the bow, by the head, and gets juggled by the forest. Arf, man, on the verge of making a reset, man. Thank you very much for the follow, Luminous, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Here we go with the stroke and gets the juggle off of it. That was sick. Okay, good stuff from Arf. Little Fuss is here to play. Darino force spot the burst. Goes again for the 6P right after the block for the, the block soldier performance. 
Okay, here we go with the salty performance. Enough to kill? Yes, it is. Oh, no! No! But it's still okay, it's still okay. Dario is still getting the kill. Dario definitely does not want to go down the reset path. Here we go, the over. Ah! Uh, stuck on. Uh oh. Nice juggle right there from RF. Gonna keep Dario in the corner. Goes for the low. Unfortunately for him, it gets counter hit by the over S of Darino. Lord! Here we go with the mix, mix, mix. Schmick, schmick, schmick. Nice box from Daru. Oh, Lord! And Daru going for the stroke straight to try to punish the uh, the head toss from, from R. That being said, yeah. Uh, Daru taking a lot of damage right there. Okay, nice punish on the mix, mix, mix. I was trying to read that back dash from, from Dar. And that was yeah. And just like this, we are on reset point right now. Let's see if Daru can seal the deal. Well, if Arf can seal the deal, or if Daru is going to have to go through a, a bracket reset. Here we go, Sultry Performance. Goes high. Gets hit by Standing Feet. Oh, Lord. Nice 6 speed. Gets hit by the dive though. Oh no, and that was an unfortunate burst, but too far for Arf to do anything about it. Arf for the 6 speed. I'll wake up Fortissimo. This is gonna hurt. Ah, Arf popping the wire. Sneak. Oh lord. Oh, that back dash though on the node was sick. Good stuff. And here we go with. Oh! Ah, uh, yeah. Arif having to hold this. Ah, uh, it's so close, so close, so close. So close. Oh, no. Oh, no, reset point is so close. And that's six feet for the kill. And the bracket has been effectively reset by RF. Holy freaking lord. Darino and losers this time around. And we're going down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. The bracket has been reset by RF, the god. Very nicely done. Let's see if you can continue this and seal the deal. We shall see. Ah, let me update this as well. Good lord, RF man. Definitely in prime position to taking the tournament today. But it can really go either way. The reset has been bracket. <laughs> Anyways, here we go on to the next match. And you can see Dauri definitely not being happy with this. Uh, but gets mixed by the uh, Meteor Crossover. Oh lord, the bait has been bursted! Good stuff from Daru. Uh, getting that corner pressure, that corner combo. Gonna get the wall break. Thank you very much for the follow, Sonero, and welcome to the Brojo. Ah, that big 2 nice counter hit, man. That did a lot of damage. Daru is still holding on to his burst. Ah, uh, but the drop of the combo by RF. Not like this. Ah, nice jump in right there from R. Oh, Lord. Again, man. Ah, and here we go. Yeah, that was just too much to try to, to evade. Good stuff from Daru. Actually manages to seal the deal. Ah, again, man, with the Sultry. But the 6P right after the Sultry has been working and doing wonders for Daru. Here we go with the wall break. Uh, no one home and air to wear in favor of RF. Couldn't quite get a, a lot of mileage off of it, but it's still fine. Here we go with the stroke trying to catch that back dash. Oh lord, nice back dash from RF. Man. RF at the back dash was crazy. Here we go with the jump in and again with the jump syringe for the fire. Uh, a little bit too late to. Oh lord! RF also popping that gold burst. Gets hit by the sultry performance of Darunodo. Uh, uh, uh. Oh lord! This is bad. This is death actually. Oh no! He drops it! Uh, goes for No! You're not like this! Uh, I'm gonna... Oh no! And no! Code. That was unfortunate from Daru. He did have the, um, the bar to make it safe though, but he didn't use it. Yeah, that is unfortunate. It's like... Anyways, here we go with Daru and the conversion station. 
still no one taking the first match yet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. They are looking pretty good though. Not enough to get low. And the burst has been baited. Very nicely done by Daru. Takes the lead 1 to 0. We are seeing a reenactment of uh, the previous set between these two. We shall see. And here is nice 6 period there from Daru. In the corner position, gets the bait on the burst. Goes in front. Ah, damn, man. Daru definitely looking good right now. Goes for the 40 smoke for the. Oh, almost kill. Here we go, the double over, man. Good stuff from RF. Good uh, good block from RF. And the wake up 40 Simo from Daru saying, I don't care. I do not care. Let me win. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Nice to S. A little bit too far, though. Here we go with the H stroke as well. Daru, man, with the 6 HS counter. This is going to be a full combo. Good stuff from Daru. And look at the damage. All things considered. And here with the 6P, man. 6P again. Goes high. He goes low, goes for the dust for the kill. Daru looking pretty good, man. Going 100% this time around. Not letting any single chance to, for RF to bring it back, man. Nice TS counter hit from RF. Gets knocked out, goes for the command grab. And here we go with the wall break. Darino going for the quick dust cancel. The, the quick uh, the quick cancel, the quick Roman cancel after the sultry performance. Gets hit by the wave though. Ah, here we go with RF getting the juggle. Finds the uh, counter hit and boom, this is kill. Good stuff from RF, not out of this yet. What's going to be next? We shall see. And here we go with the corner pressure. And here we go with the uh, the corner pressure. And there, no, there drops it, but it's still okay. Works in his favor, and we are on. Tournament point. Is Daru going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. And on with Sultry Performance. Goes for the low. Oh, tries to make it so that he was going to be out. And finish his offense. Still back in. Forces Arf to pop the burst. Goes for the chemical. Oh, Sultry Performance lands on the banana. Gets hit by the closest counter hit. Arf going, throwing lots of items on the floor. The little Faust is here to play. Here we go, the, oh, the note, good lord, and here we go with the 2HS, oh, RF with the freaking quick cancel off of the mix, 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 here we go, the hammer is out, oh, lord, ah, Daru, man, Daru going high, Daru going high, Daru going low, and here we go, and this should be able to do it, and Daru takes it, Three to freaking zero.